Welcome to another episode of Dollar Dorks. This is episode three. Uh, on this podcast, we aim to share video game buying and selling tips, give suggestions for games to watch for, tips on how to fund your collection with your collection, and hopefully to change the perception some people have of g- game sellers in the uh, video game com- collecting community. Uh, we are joined by Musty Hobbit. Hello. He's Musty mm-hmm. Hobbit on Twitter and YouTube. And we have Mark P2. Cartridge Bro- of the Cartridge Bros. Uh, he's yeah. also Cartridge Bros P2 on Twitter. Yeah. And Cartridge Bros on YouTube. Thanks for joining, guys. Um, I am Happy Derek here, of guys. Two Dorks. And yeah. <laughs> let's get into our first topic here, which let's is your yeah. last deal. So we've got the uh, order here of Musty first. So Musty, what's the last? Sure. You I've been, it. I've been saving. This is an exclusive dollar dorks exclusive. Ooh, uh, yeah, I got. It. I even held out on the hangout. So uh, <laughs> oh, wow, this is, this is fresh. Um, well, we, we are so, recording this episode a little early, so hopefully it's uh, still exclusive. Oh, it'll, then. Yeah, it's it's gonna stay exclusive. That's, okay. Nice. Yeah. nice. Um, so I got this box here, and uh, <laughs> it's a sweet looking box. Nice ultra yeah, it's pretty downy. awesome. Yeah, it's ultra downy is the best nice, downy. Nice downy box. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty great. So the story behind this, uh, and and this, I think. Uh, To use this as a suggestion for people, uh, there's nothing better than having friends who frequent uh, like Facebook garage sale sites more than you do uh, being your little finders for you. Oh, that's smart. Yep, that's a good tip. I wouldn't have heard about this box if it wasn't for my friend. And she messaged me. I'm like, well, I'm not in that group. Uh, So I quickly quickly got myself uh, admitted. (laughs) And... uh, I was nervous because there were there were by the time I had gotten to it by the time they approved my my request I yeah. I was I was like third in line on this and oh, wow. uh, so it happened that the first two fell through uh, in the span of a couple hours uh, and then and then you know she messaged me and said yeah you know so I'm not going to give you the price yet because the price <laughs> is the fun part um, <laughs> it, yeah but free you, free. <laughs> within, within the box um, was a Wii. Nice. Uh, with all the GameCube ports and everything. So no yeah, SD no course. SD card in there. I was kind of hoping for a little surprise. Mm. <laughs> uh, I have all the cords and cables. Cords and cables are there. Uh, but this was kind of a surprise. Um, and from the picture, I didn't see any of these things. I mm-hmm. saw that there were, there were a stack of games, but there's the... Uh, Pink oh, nice! We remote yep. now. I don't know if this is the Wii Motion Plus one or not. It won't be. It say it's not. If, it, if, it, if it was, it would say it around that Wii logo okay. with the ball. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. There's no battery cover, and there's some yeah. and there's some battery acid in there, but it yeah. works. It works. I put in batteries. It works. Nice. Wii remotes uh, are bad for the battery acid. I think so it's bad. The batter, the remote's always on, waiting for a connection from the system. Yeah, I think that's why. Yeah. It's the only remote I've had trouble with. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, and then. Uh, a black regular um, one as well with the back nice. on it, um, yeah, and that back. and that works just fine. Um, cool. Nice. Yeah. So we had those two, uh, and then there was a nice big old. Do this with one hand. Stack. Stack o games. Um, oh my goodness! Everybody, write up the total price you expect it to be in your head as you go. <laughs> yeah. Start tallying. Um, <clears throat> was this a video game Facebook selling group? Or no, just, uh... this was just a a, a community. Wow. It was a community garage sale site of about ten thousand people. Wow! Holy uh, nice. Yeah, there's just there's so many of them in my area, and so I don't, I just can't, I can't right. with them. That's just you know, I, <laughs> I I even kind of fell out of my the the gaming group that that I used to get a lot of my stuff from um, mm-hmm. just because that group really grew and then it got really kind of cutthroat um, yeah wow. and so that's, I find I'm surprised you even found anything with ten thousand people in there we've got one group yeah. used to be fourteen thousand people and that's when all the resellers were getting in there and it was just Jeez. hard to find any deals well that's the thing is I'm I'm competing against uh, you know granted uh, one of them is my friend uh, Rob who was the one who came out to Portland uh, for PRG with with me and and the other guys um he he's got feelers more than i could ever imagine um so this you know either this was not in his wheelhouse or or what but these are all Wii games obviously um 
prepare yourself for mediocrity. Um, <laughs> wipe out the game. <laughs> Start big. Uh, there's a Wii Sports disc only. Yeah, well, that's all right. That's good. Um, yeah. I've never heard of this one. Rebel Raiders Operation Nighthawk. Wow. I've that's, never seen that. I've, I've actually never... seen that. Like last week, someone picked that up. I, thought, I, I, I looked on price charting. It's like a uh, 12 to $15 game. Wow. Um, that doesn't sound terrible. $15? This on. one, this one uh, is compatible with the balance board. This is Go Play Lumberjacks. Nice. <laughs> I've actually played that. It's actually pretty fun. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. I have. Yeah, complete... You should do a review. <laughs> Go Play Lumberjacks. Uh, and then this one is We Play. Oh, nice. That's worth a little bit. Jumpstart Escape from Adventure Island. Wow, no I've idea. never heard of half of these. This is fantastic. <laughs> Wii Sports Resort. Nice, nice. Oh, yeah. That's a solid title. We have uh, Hot Wheels Track Attack. Looks cool. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't they just add Hot Wheels to uh, Forza? Forza. Uh, yep. There yeah. you go. Uh, and then this one, this is the one that sparked my son's interest the most because he saw it. Uh, it's his Bigfoot collision course. Nice. <laughs> uh, and then the last one, um, which sadly has been the, like, oh. this is, this is mangled. Oh, this is mangled. Dog mangled. Like, oh, it hurts. Yeah. The, the, the but, case is. But case disc. Is, How's the disc? How's so the disc, the disc <laughs> is a little fingerprinty, but That's for the good, most though. part is okay. Um, it's a little bit, but it works. I, I do know that for sure. But yeah, the case is kind of shot. Yeah. Um, but then take it out of those... that case to sell it because that looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> for those for those catching the audio version, this is new Super Mario Brothers Wii, and it looks yeah. like a dog has massacred this thing. Uh, I hope it was. But a the dog. back is actually not terrible. The back is not, well. It's not horrible. Yeah, I mean, like the, that's the why the insert. disc is okay. Yeah. yeah. The, the insert's kind of shot. So. Um, yeah. But yeah, so it has the sensor bar and all the other stuff that you would need. Um, just the standard AV. Um, do you want to guess on dollar amount? Uh, no haggling. I didn't have to haggle on this at all. Didn't have mm. to. Oh. See, there's never a time when I don't have to try to haggle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They could have asked five dollars. I would have been like three. <laughs> Look at this mangled case. Let me give you three minutes. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's Bill. Bill would point out all the flaws. Come on, it's so messed up. That's right. It's and don't forget the case. Don't forget the great uh, Ultra Downy box. That is that true. Was included. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you could easily have paid with the two remotes because they go for more than they should. Still, yeah. let's say fifty bucks. I mean, that's what I was going to think. 50. Wouldn't be, would be still a decent price. If yeah. you were in the market for that a would Wii. be that would be a decent price, um, regardless of whether you're in the market for a Wii or not. Um, <laughs> all in all, this box, this box, no haggling, cost me twenty dollars. <laughs> oh man, yeah. you could probably sell that one controller for that. <laughs> so I yeah. called, I called the local game shop, not not GameStop, but my my more Iowa based yeah. shop, and they would give me twenty one for the console and one remote, um, right. which I have, an, I have an abundance of. We remotes as it is, so yeah. why? Do they need a battery cover on it? <laughs> <laughs> well, so, uh, some of the white ones I do. Yeah, I, I guess that's a good question. I didn't ask that. Um, it is a controller still. Um, yeah. True. But yeah, so I will keep these controllers, and I will give them back one of my uh, white controllers that I don't need. Nice. But, yeah. Yeah, so I, I can make my money back oh. without even having to worry about selling any of it. Granted, yeah. some of these games, I have new Super Mario Brothers Wii. So, exactly. And that's a twenty dollar game. Yeah, that's a twenty dollar game in and of itself. So, exactly. I can, I can basically double my investment. Oh, at least yep. sports resort and probably around there too. It's, it's I mean, that's, yeah, it's, it fluctuates. I find, but yeah, yeah. And I and I have a copy of that too. So, well, there you go. But I don't have Wii Motion Pluses, so I need to get those because I can't actually play Wii Sports Resort. Mm. Oh, right. <laughs> Yeah, did you guys ever see those little adapters anymore? The ones that you can put on the bottom and turn them into? I see uh... them the odd time. I've, I've got three of them here. Okay, I never see them. Yeah. There's so a, these sports uh... resorts showing uh, loose or completed around 10 bucks US. Okay, there you go. Price charging. Half your money back. Well, when I saw <clears> this, <throat> I thought about messaging her and saying, where are they? But, right. But... Yeah, clearly you've had them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're playing sports resort and you have the weird rubber things. A lot of people will... <laughs> Upgrade to uh, 
Oh, see, my doesn't that rubber thing include it? That doesn't have in the bottom. I didn't. It should. Sorry. You have it to slide have. it in okay. there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I couldn't see uh, very well because it was small. They um, know it's, not in, it's not in there. Yeah. yeah, they may have kept it for their Wii U or something. People do that a lot, right? Yeah, possibly upgrade the Wii U and keep everything that they think is useful for it. Yeah, yeah. And she has another listing on the site that has been bumped a couple times for a 360 and like 25 games, and I might, <laughs> I might try and move on it. Wow, how much is it at? Yeah, what are they? Was she asking? <laughs> She's asking 60. Wow. Uh, um, the, the, that's a good the price. Couple, it's, it, it, it is a good if price. Any good um, games, and 25 right? games, the 25 games are not uh, like, it's a hard, it's a hard picture to tell, but I, I can identify names and like, yeah, there's okay. a special edition, there's a special edition Bioshock in there. Oh, uh, among other things. Yeah. I could certainly use an upgrade to my Bioshock, but, <laughs> but yeah, yeah it's not, it's not all about. garbage kid games. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like this, <laughs> I'm serious. Play, play, the, play the lumberjack one. Multiple. <laughs> I can't wait. We got to record it's that. Must be. I'll, I'll, I'll embrace my inner Canadian and, 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 and at least do it, it on uh, the next hangouts. <laughs> okay. Oh, that'd be amazing to see. <laughs> I'll wait. I'll wait until uh, post E3. Nice. It is more fun with friends though, or family. <laughs> to with other lumberjacks. Yeah, <laughs> <over. laughs> I have to break out the plaid. Cool. I get a plaid shirt on, and yeah, <laughs> you got to have the plaid. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I, I, I anticipate. Yeah, sorry, I, I will be pro. I will be, even if I took a huge hit on that Mario, if I just sold it disc only, which might be the best idea. Yeah. Um, or I could trade it in and you never know that shop may actually give me a decent trade for it. Yeah. Um, doesn't, doesn't GameStop or GameStop there not care about cases and stuff? I keep hearing. This is true. Mm-hmm. This, yeah, here, there's no, here they there's do. no difference. Um, they do here? I didn't even know that. As far as I know. Really, I, I've never traded into e- to EB Games, but I thought I'd Me seen either. it somewhere on their website for those special promotions. Some of the some of the stipulations were case in, huh. case included. Wow, interesting. Yeah, that's maybe not, that was just that's for the not special the case offer. here. Like, there's a my store is a my EB or my GameStop is an is an abundance of uh, reprinted or those like GameStop inserted. Yeah, um, mm. cover. It's sad. It's very sad. That is sad. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be jumping on the 360 unless there's games you want, or several controllers, because I do like the 360 controllers because they work on PC too. Yeah. Sixty. Yes. I'll. One. I'll have to see because if I can, can get her. If she's bumped it, yeah, you might be able to get her if, lower. If there's people who have who have flaked on her, then then she may be motivated, especially because I'm the same guy who didn't give her a hard right. time with this one. Yep. Right. Yeah. Um, you just be like, hey, how about 40? Yeah, try it. Why not? Yeah. Hmm. All right. Mark, you're up. Um, pickups. You pickups aren't really my thing lately. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've been doing more so the opposite. But uh, I do. I did have one pickup this week. On uh, Sunday, I went and picked up, finally, No Man's Sky. I, uh, I was pretty excited about this one uh, leading up to the release. <laughs> Came out to uh, lackluster reviews. And I said, you know what? I'm just gonna wait, wait on that a bit, wait for a price drop. And it dropped down to 19.99. Uh, it's you buy it used for 34.99, but uh, EB Games had new ones for 19.99. So, and I had a 20. Funny how that. Was. Yeah, it was great. I had a 25 dollar gift card, so I was like, okay, sure. This is the time. <laughs> this is the time to get into No Man's Sky. So, brought it home, tried it out. It's just like what everybody said. Uh, it's just, it's so close to being good. Um. And, and for a second, when you start playing and it's like, this is great. I'm enjoying this. Then I realized, like, I, I don't know about you guys, but I invert my Y axis uh, when I, when I, when <laughs> I, I do play. Too. Oh, right. Sweet. Yes. So you, you can invert your Y, but you have to invert your X when you do it. I always just invert the Y, never the X. So, and you don't have the option of just doing one or the other. So it was very hard to, to aim and move around. Um, so that alone already had me pretty irked. That's weird. Yeah. Yeah. But I was determined. I started playing and I, I got to a few planets and it was fun. If only there were other people, it is so lonely and feels so pointless. Yeah. Um, it's just, ah, oh, it was so close to being good. And sadly, that was the, uh, probably the last game I purchased since <laughs> I don't even know how long. <laughs> yeah. P1 long bought me uh, breath of the wild. <laughs> yeah. 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 Get your money back. And then some <laughs> I'm going, I'm taking it back. I'm trying. Um, People who are talking about it on Twitter how you can return it, so I'm going to try. Um, I shouldn't say that though, because I did pick up Perfect Dark. 
for the game of the month. So I guess that counts. I used to own it yeah. and then I bought it back just for the game of the month. I will likely be getting rid of that again soon. Um, but yeah, in terms of pickups, it's been pretty slim. That's uh, fine. That makes yeah. sense. As long, as long you story short, up, as long as you make up for it in your, uh, what are you selling? What have you <laughs> yeah. sold? Story. I got lots of that. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell by the shelf behind you. Yeah. <laughs> used to be full. Yeah. But yeah, how about um, how about Just you, Derek? Fill them full of money instead, right? Yeah, wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> put the stacks <laughs> up there. Stacks of, or the like penny, penny sleeves. Yeah, the little roller things. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> All in penny form. Um, awesome. Grab this. This is my only pickup. I talked about it on the hangout, so Musty already knows. But I picked up a Mayflash Max Shooter One. Oh my gosh! Which is a keyboard and mouse adapter oh, for cool. Xbox One, PS4, PS3, Xbox 360. Wow! I, so already have a mouse and keyboard adapter which is actually sitting right here the cronus max because i'm primarily a pc gamer but this one in order to use a pc uh sorry to use a keyboard and mouse you mm -hmm. need to plug it into your computer so you need to have a computer running oh. inside your console in order to run it through whereas the other one you don't and i hear good things about the other one so and sorry and which console is it for again ps4 P uh, ps3 xbox one xbox 360 wow that's how does it do all those that's amazing <laughs> so it basically just emulates a controller you need to plug a real controller into it okay. for it to clone the idea ah. of, and then from there it's fine cool yeah that's, that's so like that was win for overwatch that's pretty cool yeah i i was using the other one on overwatch so now i'll try and use this one but if i ever get back to playing overwatch on xbox <laughs> <laughs> sure. that, the event's going now actually the yeah. event will be done oh, yeah I don't even by care the time about this. Yeah, oh, when yeah. by the time this is out, um, I, I don't the care new, about events. New, I just want the new to play. mode is fun. The new mode is fun. Yeah. I'll just my say my biggest thing is playing with friends. That's all I want to do. And generally, I don't That's get the time to play when you guys are playing. It sucks. It was a, there was a, a couple times there, but I was pushing it with the wife, trying to you know, <laughs> play on Saturday and then on Sunday and then <laughs> work from home on Monday and play a little bit over lunch or longer. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, so I paid 35 bucks for that thing. Uh, I actually don't even know what it goes for retail. I thought it was quite a bit more, like 60, 70. I'm going to just double check on Amazon.ca. It is $68. Wow, so you got a good deal. Yeah. Where did you find that at? Kijiji. So, nice. like Craigslist, nice. for anyone who doesn't know. Yeah. yeah. I actually had a hard time hooking up with that guy to get it. He was only like five minutes from my work, but I went there to meet him one time and he never answered. Oh. And then literally it's been a month and he got back to me and said, yeah, my uh, Kijiji account was hacked. So I couldn't <laughs> reply to you. I'm like, dude, what? you said meet me at this time on this day and I was there and you didn't show up. Obviously it has nothing to do with your Kijiji account. Right. But I just, yeah. I wanted this thing. It was a good deal. I didn't, I didn't hassle about it. I just gave the money, picked it yep. up and done. So. That's happy. sad. I actually have a, I, you just reminded me, this happened to me today after work, yeah. a Kijiji. Some guy was buying Shirin the Wanderer from off for the Wii off me and uh, was supposed to meet me right outside my work. And my wife and I work at the same place. We were both off at three. So we're both standing there and I feel terrible because we have to go pick up our baby. And, uh, and my wife is also now tied into this and I'm like, and the guy just didn't show up. So we were like, all right, let's go. As we were leaving, he calls. He's like all in five minutes out oh, after we've already been waiting for 40 minutes. So, oh, yeah. So, needless to say, I still have that game. <laughs> oh, no. I don't yeah. know anything about that game, but I'm looking it up. It's like, oh, it's, bucks. yeah, it's an Atlas US. game. Oh, it's Wii. Atlas. That, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, that's all you have to say nowadays. Yeah. That's <laughs> the new, the new uh, Nintendo tax. There's an Atlas. Pretty much. <laughs> Atlas. <tax. laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's still deep. sitting here. All right. Yeah, well, that explains the next part of what you're selling, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Kijiji. But it's, sometimes it works out really well. I was talking about that a couple weeks ago when yep. we were uh, on this with, I think it was the first one I was telling Bill and mm -hmm. my Kijiji sales. No? Oh, it's a, well, that's what I thought. 200 Kijiji sales and 425 wow. Kijiji purchases. Wow. I have in my spreadsheet. That's huge. That's individual items. So sometimes it's a bundle of maybe 30 items or whatever. But okay. Okay. Still. Yeah. Still. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, it, overall, that's... it's been good. I, I've been very lucky, but every now and yeah. then. So you're sure in. 
the Wanderer. Where did you find that? When oh, you were... I bought that at EB Games. Like, bought that like for like ten dollars used way back when. Nice. Um, yeah. To play for yourself, right? Originally. Yeah, it was. It's a it's a roguelike RPG. I just couldn't get into it. And... Okay. I'm happy that it's gone up in price. <laughs> and I'm not sad to lose it. <laughs> That's fair. I did that too. Yeah. I have uh, various other things for sale as we speak. I guess I should mention that. I guess. Yeah. Should I get into now? Explain. No, I guess that's later. We'll do that at the story. It's fine. Okay. We'll do that in the next section. For yeah, sure, for sure. Well, yeah. Okay. Uh, me. How many things? What have I got for sale? I mean, I have a bunch of things for sale. But I'm kind of saving it all for the Berry Game Exchange. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, you were saying on the last one. Yeah, I mean, I I'm, I really should just ignore myself from that whole section, but <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I literally have right nothing now. listed for sale. Uh, I do want to get rid of Splatoon, as we talked about. I need I need to get rid of that before right. the new one even ditch it quick mentioned <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to yeah. what July. Yeah, but yeah, that's when it gets out, so I don't want people to lose the hype for the old one, right? Right, right. Because well, I bet you the price is already dropping. I mean, that's that's the interesting thing about those online marketplaces is is I have to assume that half of the people there are totally unknowledgeable about what they have, <laughs> right? True. Like, like you don't you don't walk away with a Wii in ten games for twenty dollars because that person is generous and is trying to give you a deal. <laughs> it's because they actually don't know what they have. Clueless, yeah. yeah. You know. Yep. And it sometimes feels bad it's... to take advantage of people, but I mean, That's I didn't. What they asked. <laughs> it's even better when you're yeah. asking price. But yeah. 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 I, the way I usually look at that is if I don't get the deal, somebody else is because there's so many sharks in my area. Like mm. CJR is in the same town as me. I mean, I always so hear STC Josh. talk about this guy. I don't even know who this is. Oh, he's like 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. He's like a myth. Garage sale, garage sailing for the last seven or eight years. Wow. And he does the yeah. like hit spy cam hidden camera. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I used to. I I a couple of years ago I was like religiously watching his stuff. Really? Yeah, I think he might yeah. be one of the reasons why I started doing this because wow. I started seeing his videos and like I could do that. That's no problem. I mean, his his game room is disgusting. Really? Yeah, like amazing, disgusting. <laughs> yeah, no, it's 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 pretty cool. That little like cove that or that nook that he has, where there's yeah. the one TV and it's kind of like a almost like a bay window kind of shape. Yeah, wow. yeah, it's pretty. Sun. It's pretty much. It's pretty much the yeah, goal I'd... for some people, right? Like, <laughs> I don't exactly hate them exactly of. as much as uh, Bill and Joe. I actually <laughs> so much get along pretty good. But okay, good. <laughs> I picked up a few games for him, and he's picked. He's given me some deals, and nice. I see him in all the swaps, and yeah. But he knows what things are worth, so it's hard to get a deal out of him. <laughs> Makes sense, of course. That's the hardest thing about selling to other collectors. It's yeah. tough. That's the toughest market. <laughs> yeah. It's like until you until you tap the fact that okay, we're both we're both kind of doing the same thing, and then right. and they might start to say, well, yeah, yeah unless it's something that they could sense. totally, you know, triple quadruple their money on. They're you know, they they may be more lenient on stuff that's not it's true. Net them a huge gain. It's true. Just yeah. like. This game that I tried to sell today, he he was a collector. He he was looking forward to actually playing it. He offered to actually to trade some really cool games like um, like the Xeno uh, Saga trilogy and stuff like that uh, for PS2. All very cool stuff. So I knew that it was going to the right place. So I was I I had no problem cutting him a deal. But mm-hmm. that's the thing is when you know that you're in the same group. I mean, it doesn't show up. <laughs> yeah, and then I was upset. No more deal. <laughs> he he did have a legit reason, but I was it was too late. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Huh. And then five more minutes becomes ten more minutes comes. Exactly. That's what my wife kept saying. Oh, I got stuck in this lighter. Oh, somebody, right, right, right. Somebody, right. Was, somebody was dinged my car. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> One guy I was buying controllers off of Xbox 360 controllers on Kijiji, and I should have just walked away because it was like, oh yeah, I'm just five minutes away. Oh, I'm just leaving work in five minutes. It's like you just oh. you're five minutes away. Now you're leaving work in five minutes. Oh, I hate that. Oh, my work is just ten minutes away. I'm like, dude, you're pissing me off. And it was oh, pouring rain out. And I'm like, oh. which 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 one of these houses is his? Because then he gave me a general address, and it was like condominium. General address. <laughs> well, it was, it was his address, but it was an address of um, what do you call it? Condominiums or oh, like okay, houses, gotcha. townhouses? You know, many so units. Like, yeah. Which unit is yours? Where should I be parking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ridiculous yeah those, those are the worst times 
And then he's so complaining to me that he's doing 140 down the road. I'm like, I don't care how fast you're going. <laughs> you sure have been here when we agreed to meet. <laughs> right. right. So Derek, you meant you mentioned the density of sharks in your in your area. And I and I I, I had a garage sale a couple of weeks ago and I was trying to use that as a gauge for sharks yeah. in my area. And nobody showed up. Wow. Like so you I posted don't... video games at all on the on the listing? In the listing. Video games were in the listing. I did not get specific yeah. because I wanted to cast a wide net. Yeah. Um, this was... is genius. Now <laughs> I did the same thing yeah. and I had um Andrew Lemmy who runs the the Waterloo video game swap. He used to run with Pete. He runs it himself now anyway. But he came and I was expecting him to say, like, do you have any video games? And he didn't. And I don't think he knew me then. <laughs> yeah, he didn't. I knew him because of his YouTube videos. He was doing pickup videos with CJR after every garage sale. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, what are you talking about? yeah. So, so he came and I was a couple other people. And then the the... <laughs> One person at least expected it at that garage sale turned out to be a reseller. He was like a twelve-year-old kid on a bicycle. I gave <laughs> a deal on a on a, de- a Game Boy Advance. Yeah, it was. I sold it for like fifteen dollars. Yeah, wow. And he turned around, and put it on Kijiji for thirty. That's <laughs> what a douche! Ridiculous. <laughs> That's horrible. Yeah, yeah. So I had I had my I had my most recent purge um, of Xbox games. I had them there. Um, so I, you know. Somewhere between fifty to seventy games or so. Wow, I remember um, that stack. Yeah. Any sales? Yeah. Then? Um, I did not sell any of the Xbox games. I sold, I sold a ratty copy of GTA Five <laughs> that I got for 5, yeah. free. Um, nice. I sold a Atari flashback <laughs> with, with nice. one broken controller. Um, <laughs> nice. And one working controller. Yeah. Um, but the but other than that. There was nothing, and and the one guy who bought those two things uh, was he asked the question, and I told him like I, I really don't have a lot of anything but the Xbox stuff, and then I told him the one thing that I I'm I am looking for a buyer on, and that's and that's one of my two Steel Battalion controllers <laughs> because yeah. the I don't have a need to to have two like mm-hmm. yeah. um, unless you're gonna just, plan it. Well, but the thing is, land, l- landing it, you actually have to fake out. Uh, you, you have to make uh, it look like Xbox Live okay. to make it work. And so it had no built-in LAN, like System Link LAN. It didn't have built into the game. Yeah, so so the second game, Line of Contact, is was live only. Okay. And it was it was uh, up to eight player arena. Wow. I think it's eight. It may have, uh, yeah, I think it was eight. Um, but you so now you can still do that, but you have to fake it out. Um, yeah. somehow and i just don't have the time or or <laughs> desire to, to to do that but playing it playing it individually single player is is just fine um so i ended up getting that one because that was the long saga with the uh, the pedals right i i got the controller yeah. but no pedals for the yep. longest time then you got then, one with both and then i got one that had both so then i had two controllers and one That's set awesome. of pedals uh, and then I found the other set of pedals from somebody in Texas who had them listed at like eighty dollars, and I was and I messaged him and and said, you know, hey, look, I I feel like you're a little high on price. Would you come down to this? Uh, and I think I got them for like under forty shipped. Wow, nice shipped, um, nice. Yeah, so I ended up get so I ended up now having two functional controllers. Um, one button you know, and I would be willing something. to cut someone to deal. Yeah, there's a toggle switch on one that has been snapped off, but you only need it during the boot up sequence. Yeah, he said that. Yeah, and I can use a pen to, to <laughs> switch it. Nice. Is that the one you're trying to sell, or the one you keep? Like, it? Probably the one you're trying, the one to trying to sell. Yeah, so I, I'd be willing to come down on price because yeah. there's an imperfection. <laughs> um, I don't have the game to go with it, but you know, bring it to Barry. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that'd be that'd be good. Try and get across the border with something that looks like a. Big, uh, <laughs> Yeah. It's just tank controls. It's fine. It's just, it's just a tank. <laughs> it's no big deal, officer. <laughs> yeah, trying to explain that would be very interesting. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, th- and then they would start questioning everybody else who has boxes and boxes of video games in the car. <laughs> we don't what need to draw people attention. doing. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening what? here? <laughs> Running a shop, sir? <laughs> That's what it would be. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. So. Well, let's get let's get into what you're selling, Mark. What else right. are you selling? 
What am I selling? I'm selling. Actually, I got a few things. I'm running. I'm at the end. I got Quest 64 here. If, uh, if anybody's looking for Quest 64, uh... it looks so lonely. <laughs> it yeah. is lonely up there. Nobody wants it. I have also a copy of Metal Gear over here. <laughs> My shells are not what they used to be. Um, but currently, what I'm selling are really just a couple of big things. I'm selling this. Uh, it's limited edition Wind Waker with mm-hmm. Ganon. Okay. It's a, it's not even an amiibo. It's a statue thing. Oh, okay. Um, but I've never taken it out. It's re- I've really only just taken the game out. And the other thing is this Skull Kid Majora's Mask uh, collection too. So I'm selling both of those at the moment. You're trying Kijiji first. They are on Kijiji as we speak. I already actually there is a guy who was supposed to come tonight to get this Wind Waker one, but uh, can't have heard from podcast. Him. No. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Took care of that real quick. No, I uh, I haven't heard from him today, but whatever. Um, so those two are still up. I also have, and this kind of uh, gets into something I was going to bring up later, but <laughs> as you know, I've been selling all of my collection. <clears throat> yeah. Um, and it's 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 bittersweet. I mean, I, I'm not gonna. Now I'm I've come to terms with it. I I've actually I get excited when I sell things now, and um. I'm also looking to the future as to what I'm going to do later. And now that we have this top 100 list um, that we've all made for the Cartridge Club, that's what's going to be my focus later is I'm going to recollect those 100 games. That's, that's going to be my thing. Um, but as you're I'm 100, selling... You're 100 that? or yeah, everybody's 100? Okay. My 100. My Makes personal. Sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but as I mean, I'm selling who, these Who things, would take someone else's 100 list and buy those, oh. right? Must be? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't I know, know right? Like that. I can't Uh-oh. think of anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Although that, that series is pretty sweet, though. Anyway, um, as I'm selling these things, uh, there are times when like this kept coming up, this game right here. This is the Twisted Tales of Spike McFang. This uh, was... I I bring it up any chance I can get, but um, it was yeah, the well, first review I did. Review, I think. <laughs> <laughs> first review I did on the Cartridge Bros channel. Um, and I couldn't bring myself to sell it. And it's worth... You know, I don't know. It's is quite a complete? bit. 80. Is it complete? In no, box? just on its own, just loose. Okay, eighty bucks U.S. Yeah, yeah. it's like eighty bucks. Yeah, U.S. So it's like two hundred dollars Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I couldn't do it, and I realized that there are certain things I just don't want to sell. Uh, other things, I'm like, whatever. Yeah, go ahead, sell it. And I realized that there are certain ones they can't. So I was, I was just curious for you two, which do you, which game do you think you couldn't sell if even if you were in the middle of selling your entire collection. Is there anything that you just could not get rid of? And it was hard. It was I, well, I didn't you realize must, that. you started. You got any answer that for that? Um because I can keep going while you think. Um there's a couple other things like like I have the entire Ease series here. Yeah. Um limited, like premium edition. I have all of them. They're all sitting here. They're all boxed and 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 beautiful. And um just the other day I finally put those up on Kijiji. And I was like, I'll just see what happens. I had no response, and I was so happy that I got no response. <laughs> so I'm taking it down, and I'm never putting those up again because it hurt. It was the first things that hurt me to put up. So, um, yeah, it was just weird finding these things. Um, but, yeah, you come up with anything, Musty? I mean, there's there's a few. There's some original NES games that I, I think, like Battle of Olympus, I could never part with. Ah. Oh. Um, a good one. I just Ze- Ze- Zexus is another one that I couldn't I could never part with. Um but even things like the Mega Man games, if I if I if I was in a spot where where I needed to, mm-hmm, I think mm-hmm. there I think I would probably keep the first three. Mm-hmm. And I would be okay with parting with the other three, despite the fact that you know five is the tough one to get. Yeah. And five <laughs> is the one that is also but it's it's funny because the ones that are hard to get are also the ones that'll net you, uh, <laughs> yeah, the biggest games. exactly uh, yeah. But like I, I have a copy of X two and I haven't I played oh, it nice I played it to make sure it works, but I have X two. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, that's awesome. I think I think my my Halo games I would have a hard time getting rid of despite mm-hmm. the fact that all of those like I have one disc that has most of them on it now. <laughs> right, that's true. Uh, but. I, there's just something about collection that I'm I'm big on. I, I mean, there's the big, there's the big, you know, you mentioned your, your East collection, right? You you said yeah. you're one away, you're one away from finishing 
or at least being current on yeah, that. Yeah, and that's the one that's coming out from Limited Run Games that isn't even out yet. <laughs> I ah. need that to complete the collection. <laughs> yeah, like my Final Fantasy games, I'm not, I'm not getting rid of. Um, that was hard. Would, that was hard. Like that, <laughs> that, that would be, that would be the one that I because I've, I've gotten to the point now where I have all of the pre PlayStation ones uh, inbox. I think I'm only missing the map for two slash four. On oh, the super, on the super oh, is so? Carry Tell on. me, you just you just have a spare map sitting around? I uh, may right here. This this is just full of old manuals and stuff from when I was a kid. This whole thing is just manuals and stuff. I will look right now, Musty. You guys keep talking. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So there's that. Um, like my copy of ET. I'm never getting rid of my copy of ET. Yeah. <laughs> That's the, the copy I have is not my that and and, and that's that, that's the interesting that's part is like that. none of these things, none of these things I owned uh, until I started collecting, which was like right after right as my son was born. Okay, is when I started. That's when you started. Oh, that's very. Interesting. Yeah, I started too. <laughs> yeah, Fascinating. after my son was like one or two. This is when I'm getting out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah, yeah. Like everything I picked up was, you know, like like I picked up a Retron three two weeks after he was born. Uh, it was my Valentine's Day present to uh, from. Well, we basically just said, yeah, this is my Valentine's <laughs> Day present. <laughs> it was red. It was a red Retron three, um, and then I had that for a while, and then, um, dude, my, I don't know if, if my is... wife got me a, a Retron even three my for birth. my birth, or for Valentine's Day, she'd never let me sell it. <laughs> I have <laughs> since I have since sold it because I now have all the original stuff. Yeah, that, you know here so, I, I have it, but it is crazy ripped up and mangled. It is still <laughs> it is still a map. Yeah, and it has it's kind of cool because it has like random. But anyway, yeah, you can have it if you want. I also have the manual in here. I have the manual. I think okay. I'll I'll double check. But yeah, yeah. But once again, these these this is from when. Me and uh, Sean were like, well, really young. I was five. He would have been 11, I guess, or, or 10. Um, but yeah, here's the manual too. It has no cover. <laughs> <laughs> These are pretty old. But anyway, are you looking for any other manuals or anything? I'm, I'm sure there'd be something. If you have Super Nintendo stuff, I've got the uh, all the club Super Nintendo games are right over yep. here on, over my oh, shoulder right there. Beautiful. Um, in fact, that whole this whole little shelf here is... Club games. Oh, cool. <laughs> I used to have a yeah. shelf just like that. Not trying to rub it in. I promise. No, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> We've all made our decisions. <laughs> yeah. I've, but we all, I, I, I think there, there are weeks and months where that thought runs through my head. Like, is there a need for, like, when am I going to play this random uh, exclusive Xbox game? Mm-hmm. Like, when am I going to ever do that? Uh, yeah. I know, man. I, I can't think of anything. I don't think I can think of anything that I wouldn't that I wouldn't sell. Nothing, except not- for when it's not worth the money to even bother. Like, okay. I have my original like Uniracers for SNES. I have my original nice. um, Super Mario World. I have my original or sorry Mario Paint for mm-hmm. SNES, yep. and I put decent number. of hours into playing those as a kid at least <laughs> Uniracers was you know multiplayer fun with friends and then uh i did a lot of mario paint making songs and stuff in that that'd be fun but to do <laughs> i would sell it if it was worth a hundred dollars it's just not oh for sure <laughs> yeah <laughs> not <know>. yet yeah, <laughs> yeah give it time that's right <laughs> yeah i can't think yeah, of anything like i've got the console, honestly, it would yeah. bother me more selling it's my original N64, my original SNES. Mm-hmm. That would be that. And I don't really even play game. on the hardware. I have a Retron 5 for that. True and enough. I should N64, mention I, everyone ignores. <laughs> I didn't sell any of my uh, consoles. I still have all the consoles. Yeah. Like I said, I do plan on getting those. Uh, that top 100. Yeah. yeah. That's, That's cool. the plan. That's really cool. That, that is a good idea. Uh, my other. Do you need that? See you more? Uh, I I do, cool. I do I do need it. <laughs> My other argument also to to why I wouldn't not sell anything is I'm mainly a PC gamer anyway. Yeah, that's true enough. Even as a kid, I almost have more memories playing PC games than I do playing console games. 
Yeah, I was big into SimCity. That was SimCity and oh yeah, and then StarCraft, which got brought up last week on. Oh yeah, <laughs> Do you love me some StarCraft. Yes. Yeah, it was more of Red Alert, Command and Conquer. Oh man, I oh, love Red Command Alert too. too. Yeah. <laughs> no, RT, RTS is a like. There's some I people who it. who don't dig RTSs, but that is, uh, yeah, that's some of the Battle for Middle, Middle Earth. Earth. The Battle for Middle Earth Two on the 360 I've was one of it. I've sunk I've so much one. time into that game. I have Halo Wars and still haven't played it. I that's, beat that's also... StarCraft 64. Like, <laughs> that game is not good, <laughs> <laughs> but I loved it. Yeah, I. Someday I need to actually see that game in in action. I've never, I've never. Yeah, that's played what I was that thinking. It's rough. It's rough. I bet. It's <laughs> um, rough. But yeah, selling things on eBay, and uh, I've never really had any. I actually ship. When you were talking about it on episode one, uh, me and you have very similar shipping habits, uh, Derek. We yeah. Uh, I uh, sort of had that same approach. I, and at first, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just charging random things for, for shipping. I didn't know what was going to happen. But eventually, you learn. Yeah, what'll yeah, fit in letter sure. mail what won't <laughs> stuff yeah. like that you make a few mistakes on things and yes you may have to i need to start aiming high yes selling high start. like super nintendo games it, uh, the shipping on them is expensive because it doesn't fit letter yeah. but it's really small but you have to still pay parcel so yeah, yeah. that was yeah. that I was the hardest to learn <laughs> we learned we learned that we get screwed in canada that way big time big time hard screw yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, our our small flat rate boxes in the U.S. will be like you could fit a complete in box SNES game in there mm-hmm. with with like a layer of protection, but I mean thin, yeah, almost like almost like you would, and you shouldn't do this, but wrap it in like a grocery, you know, plastic grocery bag, yeah, yeah. Just, to give, yeah. just to give it something, <laughs> something, but that, yeah. but that box is is it, it's a snug, comfortable fit for for those. Um, and how and much would would that? that that runs. It's like six eighty oh or something oh, like that. Yeah, I'd like kill half for that. We would pay. <laughs> yeah, and we had to pay for the box itself. Still. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All the fl- the flat rate boxes are the cheapest storage boxes that you can come across because you just walk <laughs> into the post office and walk out with them. Yeah. Um, oh my god. For those ones specifically, because they don't charge you until you bring it in to. Do oh, it. really? Yeah. Oh, that's you awesome. Can, you can do the large flat rate boxes, and the, they are deep enough to hold DVD cases. Um, sideways. Wow. So cool. you can, yeah, you can stack up great storage, great storage options. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Huh. That explains why I always see people with flat rate boxes on eBay when yeah. they're like selling a bulk lot of PS2 games. <laughs> That's why I never knew. Yeah. 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 And it, and, and those, how could they those, do that? Those how larger ones are like 13 to $18 to ship. Um, yeah, that'd be like and you can fit up to seventy for seventy five pounds in there without. Wow! Oh my yeah. god, that's what we pay for. Uh, like this one cartridge would be that price. It, it, yeah, I paid like twenty two bucks to ship oh. to. Um, well, actually, he paid, but to fit net when I shipped those comics, luckily it oh. was able to pack them good, good in a box. But it was like eight pounds. I th- no, that was. I think it was almost ten. No, it was the it was the mystery box that was ten. I think the comics were eight. Wow. It's like you're yeah, shipping around original Xboxes. Yeah, <laughs> there. Yeah. Here, original Xbox, eighty bucks to ship. Yeah, <laughs> to put a down payment on. <laughs> All right, where were we? We were at uh, what are you selling? And we did Mark. I sort of did my story at the same time, but yeah. <laughs> that's all right. Um, what am I selling? Like I said, I'm keeping it all for Barry. I don't have anything to talk about. Anything interesting? I mean, I picked up a copy of Metal Gear Solid for PS1 to sell. Yay. Hey, you want another one? <laughs> <laughs> I paid the equivalent of $5 for it. If that it's lonely over here. All right. Oh, you know what? I also forgot oh. to mention for my pickups. I managed to get, it was like the first time ever I got something good at, uh, at Value Village. It was uh, Shenmue 2 for, the I think it's the original Xbox. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. It was $1.99. I was like, yeah. Wow. Sure. Yeah, so... I always hear good things, but that's not the type of game. <laughs> I, I actually I traded mine away at uh, Midwest because I didn't see myself playing it anytime soon. And yeah, uh, 
I could afford to. It was fine. Um, yeah. Actually, <laughs> I, I, you I should just, just hold it until Shenmue 3 is coming out. Then the hype will go up. Yeah. yeah. Good call. We'll I was for. expecting an HD 1 and 2 to come out soon. Yeah. So I got rid of 1. 1's gone. So okay. I, I can... That's kind of what I was thinking was a, re- yeah, a remaster or, or a re-release That's what of, I of 1. I you, you jogged my memory there with... You mentioned PS1 games. I, I have uh, the first two crashes and a Resident Evil 2 that I got for like two bucks a piece uh, at Goodwill. Uh, nice. And the crash is a double. Um, the Resident Evil 2, I, I, I could find a better copy. Um, and that original crash apparently right now is going for like 35 US complete. Wow. Yeah. Um, I just need to strike on that before the trilogy. Is the trilogy out yet? I don't. No, not yet. I think not it's yet. August no, no. or July. It's 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 not yet though. I'll wait till they talk it up at E3, and then and then that'll probably be my yeah. opportunity. Yeah, nice call. Or nice I'll bring call. it to Barry. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> where dreams come true, the Barry Game Exchange. Right, that's right. You should be there too. <laughs> I, wish. I wish I could. Are you talking to Mark or all the listeners? <laughs> yeah. Everyone, everyone. everyone. <laughs> <laughs> it is going to be the event of the year. Yeah, be there or be square. I'll be there. And my wife will be there, and we'll be selling stuff. Nice. You guys got a table? table too. Cool. Yeah. Well, we get we get Sorry. we inherit a table. Did you say you're bringing baked goods? My wife is bringing baked goods. Ah. Oh. What do you think would sell better, cupcakes or cookies? Oh, cookies all the way, but cookies. I thought cookies because they're not going to get your hands dirty too. Good call. I'm Unless you make really cake. messy cookies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's true. What kind, really cookies, yeah, what kind of cookies? Yeah. What kind of cookies we talking? It'd just be like uh, sugar cookies with uh, probably royal icing on top, is my guess. Yeah. I mean, you can't go wrong with chocolate chip. I was trying to convince her to do video game theme, <laughs> video game oh, theme nice. decorations. Like, uh, I think someone, did you mention Overwatch cookies a while ago, Musty? Was that you? No, but that what sounds delicious. Like that Overwatch delicious. logo on them and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that'd be cool. You could do Pokeballs or something. Like, that, yeah, would... that would be easy. Yeah. yeah, she's pretty talented at this stuff, so. Cool. If not, I bet um, there's that uh, one YouTuber, Nerdy Nummies, is the show. Um, I'm not she does, you, sounds adorable. Yeah. <laughs> that's not that's not my shout out, but um, <laughs> does, yeah, she does like uh, a, I typed nerdy into Google, and Nerdy Nummies was the first thing. Yep. Oh, she's, really? She's, she's big time. I chance. think she's also YouTube. She's uh, she may also be YouTube red. Um, you may have exclusive stuff over Not there. Not RedTube, that's different. Yes. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, what kind of nummies are we talking about here? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but she's got a bunch of stuff that's... She has a bunch of stuff that's themed like that. Um, but she's okay. done she's done lots of cookies and, and things. <clears throat> so she may, you may, your wife may feel inspired. Oh, yeah, cool. That's a good idea. That is a good idea. Very cool. Yeah, I, I actually was considering trying to convince my wife to just make a cake, like a Mario cake. She has a Mario cake um, pan. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I just don't know if anyone would actually buy a whole cake. Buy a cake? Somebody would buy that buy cake. The pan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buy the pan. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we got a deal on that. She doesn't want to sell that. She wants to use it for uh, her nephew's birthday. That's, that's great. That's fair. That's awesome. All right. Well, that's that was it, right? We got Musty. No, we didn't get Musty. What do you I, I mean, the the big thing I have is uh, the steel battalion. I'm not actively selling. Like I, I don't ever list my stuff. Like I, I don't do, I don't sell on Craigslist. Um, I've contemplated it, but the my time is mm. not really conducive for that. Um, I I could make the time right, but I I mm. just I find myself enjoying what I'm doing with my spare time as it is, and so to make that time between when I get off work and when I have to, you know, the reasonable time, you know, is the time that I get to see my son. So I, I, yeah, I'm at that point where I can hold off. Um, the thing is a lot of the stuff I have, like these two boxes of Xbox games aren't going to sell at a convention. Like I'm not going to be able to trade them at a convention because nobody wants a box of, yeah. See that kind of stuff mid to low range, mid to low range, games unless i unless i get it at like a dollar a piece and, and yeah. even i know that i could do better than that <laughs> yeah that that and kind I of stuff buy- honestly i would have to sell on ebay that would be the only place i would get enough people 
enough a wide enough audience to sell that stuff mm, and i would sell them yeah, individually yeah. unless they're like sports games then i'd bundle them yeah i mean i i may still do that um part of me wants to see if if xbox gets some kind of surge um i feel like i feel like that generation is at least get, you've seen it with gamecube yeah right? gamecube's really like yeah. everything on gamecube is <clears throat> is if they're if they're cross platform, the GameCube one is is always almost always uh, a couple bucks more than than the other two. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that could be so coming like for it, Xbox. It, yeah, I never thought of that. I, that's what I would. That's what I would hope. And and uh, I just don't know what's gonna make it happen because those consoles are the ones where the the uh, there's not great emulation yet, True. but there are still ways to there's still ways to get the ISOs and to burn them to disc and to mod the consoles to play the play backups. Um, <laughs> yeah, backups. You know, I'm, I I actually had an idea for for Jared. Um, so yeah. hopefully he he he's going to do some research for me. But he can do it. Whatever it is, he can do it. Yeah, it's an Xbox <laughs> mod, I'm curious. <laughs> it is an Xbox mod, but I'm not going to tell you anything more than that. That's All right. Yeah. I'm just curious. I like original Xbox. I always liked it. Yeah. I mean. It helps that it has the same CPU that I had in my computer that I had at that time. <laughs> yeah. You would just swap it out or something? No, no. It's, it's an Intel 733, basically a Pentium 3 733 megahertz processor, which happens to be the same one I had in my computer around that time. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I have a I have a fondness for that console, and I just I, uh, but again, like I, the last thing I played on that was Operation Genesis for. Uh, the Jurassic Park game, yeah, for a little bit, um, but yeah, at some point, at some point, I will actually purge the stuff that I said months ago I was going to purge. Um, <laughs> it's, it's on the purge it, list. Yeah, I, but like my my a lot of my eBay sales in the past have been. I feel like I'm going into story time, but if that's okay, <laughs> I will do it. That's um, really <laughs> so most of most of my biggest acquisitions. I have lucked out in that those acquisitions have had a sealed game in it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that sealed game has sold and covered not only the cost of that sale, but in some cases, other sales. Wow. Um, so like my, do this in reverse order. I had a, um, I had a PS one lot that I picked up and it had four ga- four or five games in there. Um, it was like parasite Eve and, and, uh, it was the first parasite. Yeah, first parasite, Eve, or maybe it was the second. Irrelevant. Um, <laughs> anyways, it was there. The, the lot was for forty bucks. So then it was in, and the console was in fantastic shape. Um, it is my PS One that I still have. Yep. Uh, but it had a, they, There was a copy of Mortal Kombat Special Forces. Okay. Sealed. <laughs> yeah. It's the one with Jax on the on the cover, um, and it's like. It's not the same Jax that you remember from like two or three. Uh, right. He's got like a, I think he's got like a headband on, uh, hmm. but it was sealed except for like one minor imperfection on a corner. Uh, and I ended up getting on on eBay. There was a there was a late run on the. Uh, I, I always did auctions. That was that was my thing for eBay. Was okay. with, um, I would try and start. I would sometimes I would keep an eye on what other ones were selling at, and then I would try to find a good starting point so that I could yeah. at least get to that point, if not exceed it. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't want to start them like like they suggest. Oh, put it at a dollar, and uh, it'll build hype, and people think they're going to deal, and right get more what people it, interested or invested. I was just too afraid to do that. <laughs> yeah, right. Be, because then, because then you've eff- effectively committed yourself to. You know, there's that point where it hits that comfort level, and all of a sudden you're like, yeah. "Okay, okay, I feel good about yeah. this now. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let this one go through because because you get you get a dark mark if you end up backing mm-hmm. out on that. Um, you know, so so this this one, I, I I think I started at I think I started under ten bucks. It ended up going for seventy. Wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Sorry, uh, how much was the lot again? The lot was forty. That's awesome! Oh my god! So, so I got I got like four PS4 PS1 games and 
that copy of that. I sold that. I made I made back that. And then I used the remaining thirty dollars to go buy my first Xbox lot. Ah, um, nice. Which had two which had two games and two two controllers and things like that. So uh, with that one pickup, I paid for two pickups. That's amazing. Uh, How long ago yeah. was that? That was two years ago. Wow. It was before it was before the club for me. Wow. Yeah. Uh, there happens to be one on price charting show showing is sold for sixty nine in uh two thousand five. Could be it. Oh, that was not it. Okay. No, not two thousand five, two thousand fifteen, more like it. Sorry, two thousand fifteen. My mistake. Two thousand fifteen. Uh, <laughs> oh, was then that that may have been my sale. <laughs> There's another cool. one for 66. Yeah. I mean, you can't actually view them because actually, that's it. they don't hold it's, them that long. I think it was 66. That's, yeah, that's, that, that sounds right. That long, but it does show it in the history. And it had a late, that, it had a late flurry too. So I, I, I was thinking it was going to go for like 40 or 50, and then there must have been a last price war. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was pretty happy about that. Cool. I was like, are you serious? <laughs> and the other one that I had, the other one that I had like that, and this is the bigger, the bigger deal. But it, it seems like it's always around like. And now this is so. This started with, um, this was like 2014. Uh, I went to this. They call it the world's largest garage sale. It's basically a, an, it's an auction house that does a flea market uh, in the spring and in the fall. And so I went, hoping to find something. I was expecting to get like you know, Pat the NES punk style like flea market <laughs> deal or something like that. Um, <laughs> And I, I went in there and I saw the only thing I saw gaming wise, aside from the guy who clearly overmarks his disc based games, uh, mm-hmm. hmm, there was an NES advantage. Um, yeah. And I looked at the price tag on it and it said $24. And I was like, uh, no, thanks. <laughs> so, but I asked him, I said, do you have anything else? I asked the question, which <laughs> you should always do. Ask the he- question. <laughs> uh, and he said, I don't, but. Uh, I have a colleague who runs a uh, he runs a, an antique shop in there's the in Cedar Rapids there's the Czech Village which is this this um, stretch that is kind of like a, the old uh, historical region of, of of the city and there's a there's an antique shop there and he said we just got two boxes of stuff in I was like good to know I immediately drove there forty <laughs> minutes or so. Uh, to go get it, uh, to go look at it, and in there, there were there were two boxes, and inside the two boxes was a Super Nintendo, wow. a uh, two new in box, uh, the SG six, no, the SG, not the SG, there were the Super Nintendo like the arcade ASCII, stick, ASCII arcade yeah, stick. I have two of those, yeah, yeah. There were two of them. They were new. Uh, there were multiple zappers. There were there were a lot of accessories. There were two NES advantages, and there was a Comerica uh, arcade stick as well. But there was a Super Nintendo. I already said that. It was Super yeah. Nintendo. Uh, there was a number of games, and then there was a sealed copy of Killer Instinct. Oh, nice! Uh, and so. I ended up. Uh, I that box. The two boxes they had marked at eighty dollars. And I asked the guy who was running the shop if if he had any wiggle room on that, uh, and he said, "Well, they're not mine, but I can give you ten percent off." I was like, "Okay, I will I will take these for seventy two dollars." <laughs> and I turned and sold that Killer Instinct <laughs> copy for seventy. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Two dollars. So, that's too much. Pickups. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So for I mean, I, it's it's been sheer luck. Which is a lot of what this is, right? Uh, yeah. You know, yeah. It, it just happened. And I, I haven't had one like that in a while. Um, I mean, I, well, yeah, I'm not, not, not to the that. same extent. Um, but, yeah. you know, this, this Wii, still, you know, I'm, I'm, I have a Wii that I'm perfectly happy with. My Wii U will also play Wii games. And so, um, mm. yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty content with that. But um, to be able to say that my, yeah, so that's three of my consoles that I have that I, Probably we'll never get rid of because they're attached to this story. So for these individual <laughs> it's stories, cool actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sealed copies, sheer, just absolute <laughs> luck is awesome. I'm kind of, re- I actually am kind of regretting that because I kind of want a copy of Killer Cuts. Um, uh, I wish the soundtrack I had that, that was in there. Yeah, um, that would be cool to have, but. Uh, I'll come across one someday, or I can just you know. What do those go for? Are those expensive now? 
No, they're not at all. Oh, good. Good. I mean, they're they're. That's a good question. I should <laughs> I'm speaking like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I think the only surprise sealed game I've ever had was SOCOM 3 US Navy SEALs for PS2. That's it. How, what did that sell for? In a bundle. It was, I sold it to a game store for 83 cents. <laughs> <laughs> to get rid of it. It should have been, like, been like, I'm returning this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that wouldn't work. Yeah, Disney Princess for DS. Like, there, there's nothing good that I've gotten sealed. I love that you guys have those sheets, those spreadsheets that tell you stuff like this. <laughs> yeah, for when I can't remember. That's awesome. I did get. I did get. Oh, I did get some good stuff sealed, but that was at uh, like clearance at a so the source, which is like Radio Shack. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, Little Big Planet three for five six five dollars sixty cents. Um, best of PlayStation Network Volume One. If you ever played that one, that was the same price, five dollars sixty cents. There's a couple. There's like Fat Princess and Oh yeah, right um, that Tokyo. Tokyo, what's it called? The Jungle. Play, yeah, Tokyo Jungle with the animals. Yeah, yeah, that's a pretty neat game. Uh, yeah, that it looks good. Sealed. It's like Evo. Price. Evo. Yeah, and then uh, <laughs> PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale, Medal of Honor Warfighter Limited Edition, which turned out to be. Well, I bought it for a dollar and I sold it for three dollars to a game store. <laughs> nice. And then that the Peeny Zombie Slayer is for Wii. I got that one too. Own a Chambara? Is it the yes. yeah? That's the one. Uh, and then Doom 3 BFG edition. I got that as well for Xbox 360. Apparently I wrote Xbox 260 there. Let's fix that. <laughs> <laughs> that was sealed. That was only a dollar and eight cents, and I still got it and it's still sealed. I kind of want to play it, but I don't want to open it. <laughs> sealed. <laughs> Yeah. What else? Well, that's pretty much our story time, anyway. Yeah. I'll I'll separate it up, but they're there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Abundance of stories. All right. So, uh, discussions or questions here. So, starting with Musty, how do you track or do you track any of your sales and purchases? Uh, I have started and failed. Many times. <laughs> um, I don't I don't know how many different I should probably stop doing this. I don't I don't know how many different <laughs> online functions uh, I have tried using. Uh, like I've done our I like if you lined them all up, you could track my you could track the progress of my collection across all of these. <laughs> Put them all I together. Not stuck, I haven't stuck with one. So like VG Collect I've done. Uh, I've done RF generation. And I've loaded it in each time on these things, but it, it, there it always seems to be something that's marginally better. And, and, and then I've gone to my own Excel file. And then keeping that up was tough because I kept, I kept turning that into a... Like I had one list that was... Because at one point I was looking at going full Xbox, uh, original Xbox collection. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Crazy person. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so I had the list, and the list was... Uh, I would color code the ones as I picked them up, I turned them green and then I would sort it by cell color to bring those to the, to the top. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I could sort of scroll out and see the, the list as it would go. And I could do pivot charts off of it and stuff like that. Um, if I really, really wanted to, but um, <laughs> when that goal kind of dissipated, so did the maintain the maintenance of that list. And now that I'm, you know, the Xbox games that I'm collect that I'm keeping are, you know, I've less than I maybe 60 that I have that I, I, which still feels like too much um, (laughs) at this point. Um, And there's games there that I haven't played yet. So again, kind of an aside there, the, (laughs) the, uh, as far as purchases. Yeah. I don't really track that stuff either. Um, (laughs) I wouldn't be able to remember what I paid for things if I didn't. Yeah, yeah, for for a while there, and 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 maybe it's because I'm not, uh, I don't I don't resell to the extent that I could. Yeah. Um, if I if I was doing that more frequently, then I would want to know what kind of profit I actually made, or you know, I would want to know where where I could uh, cut a break uh, without mm-hmm. losing investment. Yep. But the what I what I used to do, and and when. 
everyone when they start collecting they kind of have that surge of like i want to get i want to get i want to buy 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 and and you you mm-hmm. get you get inundated with things um and to try and make sure that we were being i was being reasonable you know this was this was uh three to four months after my, my son was born <laughs> it was i was like can we not spend quite as much on those video games? And I said, okay, that's fine. Let's come up with a reasonable number. And so when I started my YouTube channel, I was, I was doing this. I was, I was treating it. I was giving myself a budget of $75 a month uh, toward this. And then I would, I would do, I had a ledger type thing that was, you know, every month I would put in my $75. I would then mark what I, what I sold, what came back and, you know, and then I got to the point where I wasn't. I just stopped doing that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I haven't broken from that goal of spending more than seventy five dollars. I don't think um, that's a good, good, good limit, though. Yeah, and you know, we. I started talking to her about just doing like an annual amount. I just set aside and like that is <laughs> that's my like that's my convention fund and my game fund and so you know then i then i would actually have to weigh things like do i go to portland or do i buy you know right Uh, (laughs) it's tough you know gaming life right yeah Yeah. it might also encourage you to sell more things because then that that was back in the budget yeah it it, and 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 it actually does um you know like i i've i've you know i had that goal of 100 super nintendo games and i was looking at them giving him the good stare down and I was like <laughs> somebody's gonna hate me for this next comment but 16 bit beat em ups are not my jam. Mine neither man. Don't yeah. don't feel bad. <laughs> like, like I, I was just like I don't care about playing these. Like me neither. If I, I like if them I with mean, friends. That's the only reason I would play them. Yeah. yeah. But like I had a copy of Final Fight. Like, what what am I gonna do there? That's single player. Like, yeah, that's right. Like uh, single player barely interests me in any game at all. Yeah. Well, <laughs> like Turtles, Turtles in Time would probably be the one that I would make yeah. the exception for because of the yeah. source material. Um, I could probably do like King of Dragons looks interesting. I know Miles was playing that um <clears throat> a while back. Um, now, that you, now that you mentioned Turtles in Time, that may be the one game I don't want to sell because I had hey. my original lost because my cousin borrowed it and never returned it. So then I went out and found my own copy and I had to buy Final Fantasy 3 for it and did a trade. Oh. Bought Final Fantasy 3 with store credit. Maybe it was 2, I don't remember. But either way, I bought it with store credit and traded it for Turtles in Time. Hmm. Well, there you go. Yeah. Now you know the one Final Fantasy 3, that was it. But yeah, I think... When you when you put yourself on that kind of a game budget, purging is not like purging is actually you see the the end goal. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've also been lucky that I've had somebody who's willing to take someone who is a shop owner. Yeah, who's willing to give pretty decent. Uh, well, he's been giving me full value on trade stuff, which is unheard wow, of. That's really uh, good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm. I'd be lucky to get half value. <laughs> I'm extremely <laughs> grateful, and I've, I've given him every opportunity to say, "I'm only going to give you whatever percentage," yeah. and he doesn't. He actually wow. throws like he he gives me his manuals that have imperfections or like are missing covers. So like I have Super Metroid, I have yeah. Mario RPG, um, but they're missing the cover. Oh, uh, okay. Like he's like, I can't sell these. No one's going to buy these. So oh my here, here god. Go. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Must so be the hair. I guess. <laughs> I guess. I'm trying to get him to join the club. I've, get I've, him in. That'd be great. You know, he can he can he can sponsor weekly or something. That sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think anything. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so that's how I do my tracking or my lack of tracking. I really, <laughs> really should get back to it. Like I, I liked having the number because it's I'm so scattered. I have all these different, you know, I have yeah. Lord of the Rings games over there and Star Wars games over there and the Halo games right. over there. And, um, it's very, I like how I have my things set, but it makes tracking, like I couldn't just go to something and be like, there's 50 games on this shelf. So that's 200 across these four shelves. Like, right. It doesn't work that way. Um, <laughs> I like watching 
Derek just pull up. Oh yeah, it was Final Fantasy three that I traded in. Like that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything like that. Much like you, Musty. I I mean eBay. I think tracks um, to a certain extent oh, uh, sales you. figures, mm-hmm. but yeah, uh, they will drop off the list. Exactly. Like, if the items are so old, they drop yeah. it off. Other than that, I like I have nothing that. Uh, Nothing. I guess I can go to my bank account and see what I put in. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> yeah, I got I got a sp- spreadsheet with my list, and there's two thousand five hundred nine lines of in it of things. Wow! That I bought, sold, or kept. Well, bought, kept, whatever. And then does it have dates else. too? I, I didn't start tracking dates until I talked to Eric, and he's like, "Yeah, yeah, I track these fields." Because I asked him, "What do you track?" And yep. then I'm like, damn, I need to start tracking dates. Yeah. So somewhere in 2016. That's so cool. Yeah. There's some dates I filled in as I as I thought of it, but I think February or January 2016 when I started filling dates. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dates are useful. Well, well, we know all this info from Musty already, so we don't need to ask him about anything else, I think. Uh, mm-hmm. Actually, you must see, do you know how many games you have? Do you know? Ooh. Uh, see, this is part of it. I, I'm I'm not sure. I would say at one point I was at like 550, but that was before the first purge. Mm. So purge. Uh, the purge. <laughs> um, I would say I would say I'm probably around. I'm between uh, maybe upward uh, upwards of 400. See, I mean, I'm almost like done with my than I mean, because I'm at 400 and like, I'm just over 400 and I have like, well, I have some I haven't added, but still in my shelves right here behind me, these mm-hmm. two shelves, the wooden one here, mm-hmm. those two yep. shelves that I've got 400 in there, including Game Boy games. And, and I, I, I may be grossly underestimating it then. Yeah, but I, th- I found like, that RetroPixel, mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure, re- grossly underestimated his too. <laughs> like there's, How do there's, you access those shelves there? I, I, it looks so like this, this is the, the side of them. The front is doors. Oh, okay, I see. Okay. And on the so doors, there's, there's actually things. more shelves. Oh, cool. Yeah, they're but meant yeah, for. So there's, there's my, uh, there's my Super Nintendo, yeah. all the Sega stuffs in this shelf. <clears throat> like, and then I, the I have stuff's like no more here. than like twenty games for any one system. Pretty sure. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, well, I'm over a hundred on my NES, and I, I always get curious. Like, do I, when I finish. I won't ever truly finish my goal because <laughs> I'm probably not going to spend that money on Samson ever. Right. Um, skip one. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say I have 99 of the, well, I'll just say 98. <laughs> I have three left. I need dragon warrior four. That's. And then I, and then I'll repro the other two. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But at that point it's like, well, what do you, what do you do? Like, I like, I like NES cartridges. I think they look nice on a shelf and I think they, they do, you know, they, there are still games out there that I would like to play. There, there's some that I'm just like, it's like, wow, what is Ghost Lion? Like, <laughs> Ghost Lion, that's that weird <laughs> RPG. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, there's think... there's some strange stuff that you you know, like the the Disney's Advent, uh, Adventures in the Mag- Magic Kingdom. Like, like those are games that I it would be great to maybe see if my son wants to play at some point. Yeah. I, I I have a feeling that with children, at least with my son. By the time they're playing the games, they're not going to want to play the old stuff that much. I mean, my son is interested in Super Mario World, but mm-hmm. I don't see him interested in the original Mario Bros. at all. Yeah, that's And he'd fair. still rather play New Mario Bros. U because it has kitty cats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can't fault him for that. <laughs> yeah. And it's a fun game. It is a good game. but Yeah, it is. I'm sorry, not New Super Mario Bros. U, the... Uh, 3D world. world. 3D world, yeah. That's yeah. the one. Yeah. Yep. My son likes watching Overwatch. That's <laughs> awesome. I've heard. <laughs> yeah, I'm he really liked the Uprising event because we were we were shutting down the robots. That's awesome. Shutting down. Not destroying yeah. or killing. No. Nope. No. Shutting them down. Turning off the robots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm curious to see what, uh, what my daughter's going to be into. She's so little still, but I look forward to that. The first time she gets a star in Mario 64 will be a great day for me. <laughs> <laughs> you should make her you should make her do that with her feet. <laughs> someday, someday. That is the goal. 
Yeah, that's how I, I, I know I will have made it as a father. <laughs> there you go. Successfully, at least. Yeah. That's right. That's right. I have a video of my son playing Super Mario World on Game Boy Advance. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think I still have that. I'm trying to figure out where that was. But I do not. I won't be able to find it, I'm sure. Anyway, irrelevant, but proud that he was playing so young. That's all. Yeah, of course. It's a big deal. Can't find it. Doesn't matter. All right. <laughs> back to our outline, our plan. So <laughs> I don't know why I put myself in here anyway, because I already I've already told these numbers already before. So. <laughs> you I, should assume it's gonna be somebody's first. That's right. Yeah, that's that's possible, I guess. Always. But, hey, I, I use a spreadsheet to track all <laughs> sales and purchases. Yep. Um I do not. Yeah, I've been using the spreadsheet since I since uh, just after I started collecting video games, which is almost two years ago now. Um, and honestly, my spreadsheet came from when I used to buy and sell paintball equipment um, on Kijiji as well. I used to buy yeah. it, fix stuff, sell it, usually made some decent money on those and turned it into better equipment for myself. I have a buddy so, who does that with paintball equipment. I don't know. What yeah. is it about paintball equipment? Um, he also does it. And no, walking I, sticks. That's a weird thing that he does. Though. Walking sticks? <laughs> he he carves and makes his own walking sticks. Oh, okay. Cool. I guess. He if makes you pretty good money it, on it. It's crazy. That's crazy. That is crazy. <laughs> yeah. But back he to paintball, because like, that's something I actually know something about. All right, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to, to play paintball, but I didn't want to buy my own equipment. Or I ah, okay. went out and bought my own, and then I wanted to upgrade. So sell gotcha. my old gun, buy a better gun, found a good deal, find something broken, but I know how to fix it, you know? Uh, Makes yeah. sense. I think but a lot of people who play paintball, especially when they're younger, don't know how to fix things. So True. they just think it's something broken. They sell it off and buy something that works. Yep, that makes sense. And that's probably how he got into it too, actually. Makes yeah, I, I don't know what other hobbies you could do that with because I don't think that would work for like golf because you can't <laughs> yeah. fix and stuff. But Fixing your gloves, yeah. I, don't know. I tried it with remote control cars and quadcopters. Both of those are just expensive and you're never going to make your money back because they drop yeah. in price too quick. Huh, interesting. Yeah. Paintball, that's, a, that's the world to get into. It, it was, or at least around here, I, I don't think it is anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody ever talks about paintball anymore. It was yeah. huge back in the day. <laughs> yep. Now, now it's all Nerf guns and... Yeah, Nerf guns back. Like, Nerf is back hard. Oh, Steven Hyder's all over it. Yeah, I know. I want to do the same thing, but I'm not going to. I'm resisting. <laughs> Those sniper also, rifles that Steven showed look pretty awesome. Yeah, there's one. So half of my half of the office that I'm in at work has a Nerf fight like daily. <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah, it kind of awesome. it, it kind of frustrates me to be honest because I don't <laughs> yeah. because I I don't want to spend go and get the best gun ball. possible. Well, I'm just I'm working. <laughs> and it's like and all of a sudden you hear you hear just the the reloading sound and it's just like oh. It's like, come on, guys! I don't want to be a fun sponge, but get in yeah, there. I am. I am working. <laughs> Someday I'll have it. I'll, I'll get the. Do they make a Nerf like grenade? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Just get that a paintball cool grenade. Some that'll shut them up. Yeah, oh, that God. would. <laughs> that would. I. Yeah, that'd be trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but if I if I could throw a Nerf grenade, like something that like would land and like would shoot all outward. Yeah. Yep. Like it's just like lined with with Nerf that, darts. That has to exist. Yeah, if not, I'm sure if there's not, someone here not, in this club yeah, that could make that for that you. That wouldn't be hard to make. <laughs> CO2 cartridge and a bunch of barrels attached. Yeah. There you go. We just we, we'll just cannibalize all those all those uh, thrifty Nerf guns. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Stephen won't mind. I'm sure. <laughs> he's not too attached. No, no, he's not there yet. <laughs> but one one of the guys has that massive red. Um, the sniper rifle. Was the, oh, okay. This is the, the sniper rifle. Yeah. Cool. Okay. cool. The in the uh, chain gun one, that was the Vulcan. I keep <laughs> seeing that at thrift stores, but usually incomplete. Hmm. Uh, on my spreadsheet. So currently I am $493 in the hole. I've never been yeah. that far in the hole in my spreadsheet. I don't like it. But I'm you probably, Barry, you can fix that's probably because you have stock to sell to uh, bring yeah, it back up. Yeah, right? and I also made the mistake of buying a Wii U and then buying a Xbox One. Oh, and right. That's right. I remember you saying that. The Xbox One was where it started going downhill. <laughs> the Wii U, I was still fine at that point, but mm -hmm. then it started dropping, and I just keep buying more stuff 
and not <laughs> having time to list things. I mean, we do have two kids now, so that's going to be part of my excuse. But true. <laughs> as a but that's true. Intro, it, it, that's another thing that it, it takes time. Like you yeah. could say you want to sell your your collection or sell anything, it but it yeah. does take time. Yeah. And and that's the hardest part, I think. It's just finding like time. The last podcast, I said I was going to list Splatoon, and I still haven't because I got to take pictures and post post yep. it. It's I got to grab it on the shelf. <laughs> yeah, it sounds easy, but man, yeah. it, it takes time. Yeah. <laughs> and time just slips away. It's crazy. All right, well, Mark, you're up next on this. Uh, do you track any of your purchases and sales? Mm, I do not. Like I said, uh, other than what eBay tracks for me, which is very little, <laughs> I got nothing. Yep. I, up until the last, what was it, two, three months, I, I never sold a game. Like I never, yep. ever, ever sold my stuff. So this is all new to me. Um, I just went into it with both feet, I guess. You seem to be doing all right. Mm, it's so sad to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> That's What's okay. Like you can just that? go get some Nerf guns and fill those shelves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's the lone Game Transform Boy game over your right shoulder? Um, yeah, maybe we should go through the things that are worth keeping here. <laughs> these? These here? <laughs> sure. I'm these curious. are empty cases here. Oh. <laughs> you fooled There's me. another one here. I don't know which one you guys are looking at. Yeah, that um, one. <laughs> these are all... I got a bunch of empty DS cases here. I uh, no idea where the cartridges went. I think they're at my ex-girlfriend's house um, from many, many, many moons ago. You should just put those on eBay as a, as a lot. You should. You think they would sell? Just the case? I just saw Kirby there. There's a... Yeah. Uh, yeah, superstar. Especially to people in the states, because their EB games would just throw the cases in the garbage. Yeah, good call. I never thought of that. I just assumed, there's... yeah, like see, like there's no cart. But or NJ Retro will take them if you want to just get rid of them. Would Would NJ Retro be interested in these? He collect he collects them. He has a whole bunch from from uh, GameStop. Whenever they get them in, he just gets, yeah. takes them all. Okay. He literally said he has two hundred DS cases. Like, yeah. Well, if he wants more, I guess. Uh... <laughs> it didn't part with there's a whole there's that group Derek that I I pulled I yeah. guess I pulled you into that that is all about uh, the the loose the loose items um you know yeah. like like oh. ma- manuals cases and inserts only huh. like there's no game oh, wow. sold in this group it's all cool. it's all loose yeah it's called like the missing video pieces game or something like pieces that. lost found united sorry reunited yeah. Yeah. Are these guys uh, globally, or is this just in the states? It it's, started. It started in Iowa. It's actually an offshoot of, or it's Iowa, Texas. I think there's a a big retro scene that kind of offshoot from. They were the guys who were like, I can't, I can't list my, you know, no one wants to just buy manuals out of this main group, and everyone, right. everyone is selling games. So here's our chance to just say, hey, you have a manual, I have an insert, I need. Let's, uh, you know, let's, let's swap. make it happen, and then we can both have, you know, we, so those guys are working toward complete copies. So I guess for people who don't care These, about, uh, I have um, oh, Majora's, and you're not, uh, these you're are not on Facebook, are you, Mark? And uh, I, 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 I have Facebook, but I never go on it now. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was just going to send you the link you. to that group. That's all. Or I guess I can. I, I will look into it, though. Yeah. I could I could just go on the uh, on Sean's if I really wanted to. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so I still have these. These are from when we were kids. Uh, so they're still complete in box, um, which is nice to have. These are my the Zeldas for 64. Uh, I won't get rid of them. There's certain things like, like I have this chewed up. Uh, Secret of Evermore here. It's got like our dog when we were kids chewed it on that corner right there. So I still have that. Like things like that, I, I still have. I have all any gifts that I've received. Um, I still have. Super Satchel. Super Satchel sent me this Soda's Revenge. I have that. I also have Star Topics, which I kept to go with it. Um, boxed stuff like that. I, I'm I'm always gonna keep. Um, mm-hmm. But anything. Do you that have I the have, letter? Do you have the Star Topics letter? I don't. I, actually, you know what? I I should check. Cause this is pretty old, uh, but I don't, I don't think I do now, but I, here's the, obviously the box, but I don't think I have the letter. I do not. Uh, nope. I do not manual, but no, no letter. I know. Nothing um, but yeah, other than that, the stuff back here is just like, like all my, I don't, I haven't, I didn't really sell anything new. Like, sorry, like, uh, like current, like Wii U, I haven't sold anything. Um, PS4, I didn't sell anything. I still have a bunch of PS3 stuff. Uh, just haven't the the market really isn't 
big on that stuff right now. I mean, I could probably get rid of some Wii U stuff, but most of it I'm going to end up playing with Avery anyway. But yeah, yeah, right. yeah, pretty barren. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't find you you don't find yourself um, like. Like missing it, you mean? Like, I mean, like, do you find like when you have time to game, whenever you actually do have time to game, like right. you don't find yourself like struggling, like you know what you want to play, right? Exactly, that's exactly it. Yeah, and and if I had anything that I hadn't already beaten or, or that I knew I would want to play in the future, I wouldn't have got rid of it. Um, yeah. Like, like for example, I kept. I knew this is coming up, so I have Final Fantasy IV sitting here. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's the same version. Different. Yeah, that's the uh, PSP ones. That's cool. I gotta get, I gotta get cracking on that. Yeah, it's, it's actually a surprisingly fast RPG. You can get through it pretty quick. But I mean, quick is all relative, I guess, because we none of us really have sure. time. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. And then I have stuff that doesn't sell, like, like Arrow what? the Acrobat. Here, he's still chilling. Nobody wants him. Poor Arrow. On on Kijiji, you mean? Right? Yeah, where I tried, he's not even up anymore. <laughs> Vector Man too. I still had nobody wanted him. Poor Vector Man. We've got to be able to sell on eBay though. Yeah, probably. It's not worth it, like Monopoly here. These are like five <laughs> bucks on eBay. It's like I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> then you take all those that won't sell for like five bucks and you put them in a bundle. True, that's true. But yeah, anyway. Yeah, that's me in a nutshell. <laughs> all right. So uh, this is the listener questions section, but we didn't have any questions. You sure? I, I didn't see any questions. I guess I could. No, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, Definitely actually, check it. Make make sure you check your hashtag because that's, that's how actually you would know. The hashtag out before. Oh, well, let's take a look. Maybe somebody knew. Until now. Maybe somebody knew about it. Oh, maybe somebody. Hey, look, there's a question here from somebody. <laughs> maybe somebody. <laughs> <knew>. <laughs> got a question from uh, Cartridge Bros P2. Wow, nice guy. Okay. <laughs> have, you ever been tri- have you ever been burned when trying to flip a game i.e paid too much for what you could mm, get it for good question or you get yeah <laughs> ever happened but that's that's happened i mean are you checking um, your spreadsheet that's what i was just thinking of i'm trying to make examples <laughs> um technically if you wanted to say that final fantasy 3 i probably could have you know got uh mm-hmm. turtles in time cheaper it just doesn't come for sale around here very often yeah, and I, I never see that, never. Yeah. Nobody wants to get rid of it. Yeah, I think that might be the problem. So, oh no, come on. On spreadsheet. Don't fail me now. Um, <laughs> so I paid, in-store credit, I paid $96.02 for Final Fantasy III. Wow. Was yeah. that boxed? No. That was wow. Nice. <laughs> yes. So I wow. traded straight for Turtles in Time. Technically, I paid ninety-two dollars for Turtles in Time loose. Wow! Wow! When you put it that way, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I know I had an example of where I overpaid, but now I can't think of it. There are definitely times when I've overpaid, and usually I make up for it with something else that I underpay. Right. <laughs> Balance it out, right? Yeah, I can't remember regrets I got, now. I mean, I had time. We mentioned it earlier, but the getting burned on shipping can be can kind of fit into this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, that has happened um, to me yeah. twice now, I think. Oh, I hate like, that. <laughs> like I tried to sell so I that lot that had the, the new inbox um SNES arcade sticks. Um I sold one of them and I sold it for I think I I, I landed it on twenty four dollars shipped and then I ended up eating eighteen of that in shipping. So I ended up making eight bucks on it. And I was like (laughs) the time spent. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, I mean, granted uh, again, there were other things that, you know, it was gravy at that point. Right. But, uh, but I could have done better. Um, Yeah. I know what you mean. I hate that feeling though. Freaking shipping. Yeah. Yeah. Then it's like, well, for eight bucks, I would have just kept it myself, you know, like, yeah, that's that's that feeling of, of, Of you know, well, I didn't. I didn't want eight bucks. I wanted twenty four bucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. I've definitely had those where I yeah. screwed up on shipping. I think there was one was definitely a um, Guitar Hero wireless drum receiver. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That one up or was it a drum receiver? No, it was yeah, it was a drum receiver. 
uh, rock band actually, and it was thicker than I thought. So I had to ship it as, as a package. So shipping was $17 and I sold it for 20 with $5 shipping. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. I, I may, or I sold it essentially after all costs for $4 and 42 cents, but it cost <laughs> me, I think I was lucky on this one. Cause I got it at a garage sale or something. Oh, come mm-hmm. on, man. Copy the name out of uh, out of the eBay spreadsheet and bring it into the normal spreadsheet to search for it. But the model number is the most useful part. I got it at a garage sale for one dollar. Luckily, luckily I didn't pay five oh, nice. for it or something like that. So you were okay in the end, really. Yeah, yeah, that one was okay, but it could have easily been worse. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We've all had times where we've taken a hit on something that oh, it, sure. it just, you know, either it you've tried to sell it and it hasn't sold. Yeah. And you end up going, well, I'd rather have something than nothing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. for sure. There's sometimes where I've just sold things like Call of Duty 2, GameCube disc and case only. 50 cents I sold it for to the local game store. <laughs> it was Tiger Woods PGA. I have, a, I have a hard time. For 20 cents I sold it. Like, wow. Just get rid of it because I want yeah. things gone if they're not yeah. useful to me. Of course, like fifteen cents. Yeah, that I struggle with that. I str- I struggle with getting back less than a dollar. Like it's like, come on, just give me a dollar. Yeah, like, <laughs> give me some. That, that game store I don't deal with anymore because they kept screwing stuff up and they blamed me for them for getting to put things in the list. Like what? I would I would bring in seventy things and they mm-hmm. would miss three. I would go through my list after they after I got back to work, like my receipt and the list of yeah. things that I brought and my pictures of what I took because I started mm-hmm. taking pictures because I didn't trust them anymore. And I would call <laughs> them up and be like, you missed this game. They would go check the bin of stuff I brought. I'm like, they'd be like, yes, you did bring that in. No, we forgot to, we for, didn't put it on the, the receipt. So you didn't get money for it. We will credit your account. Yeah. There was even one time where they made me physically come in to show them the receipt, even though they what? had a computer system. I had to drive 15 minutes from work to there after I mm-hmm. just spent two hours waiting for them to put everything through the computer. That was bullshit. Please, please <laughs> tell bullshit. me it wasn't, it wasn't over 15 cents. <laughs> no, it was not much. <laughs> I think it was like five dollars. But it was a matter of principle then, proving that they were wrong oh, yeah. again. Right. Yeah. Every time I went in, they missed something, and they blamed me. Every. Are they time. still in business? Are they still open? Oh yeah, yeah, they're doing fine. They're, they're also the one that got mad at me for liking a negative review on Facebook. Ah, and said right. They no longer wanted my business. I'm like, fine, I don't want to deal with you anymore. Yeah, ridiculous. Yeah. I don't go there anymore. Just leave them. Yeah. So they, they were the ones that gave sense. But they, the nice thing was they would take anything mm-hmm. or just about anything, like any game, uh, almost any condition. I mean, there's limits, but... There's other stores in town where if it's something they know they're not going to sell for a year, they're just mm. not going to take it. Like every other store just won't take it. Man. I have a question mm-hmm. that I'm not going to take the time to tweet to you. So I'm <laughs> <laughs> the question I have is for people who are looking to get into like the Craigslist Kijiji thing, what suggestions mm-hmm. can you give to a, to a person who is starting off? Like what's... Mm-hmm. Because there's a lot of horror stories, um, and obviously the worst of the worst type of horror stories as well. Yeah. But like, like there's. Do you have suggestions for somebody who's just, who's dipping their toes into the oh that? I could literally market. spend hours talking about suggestions. The problem is <laughs> thinking about it in context as yeah. to what you should consider when. So I, I just had an example about this the other day. Oh, my wife was sell- was giving away things, actually. Baby clothes, because mm-hmm. we got a lot of baby clothes for free from yep. friends and stuff. So she's giving some away on Facebook, mm-hmm. and people are just not showing up. It's like, this shit is free. It's free. Yeah. Come and get it. <laughs> you said you're going to come get it, and you don't show up. Like, she had three people who didn't show up for two days to That's come horrible. get this free clothes that someone else would have loved to have and maybe needs more. Yes. But and, and uh, clearly would have showed up if they needed it. <laughs> in, in the context of her conversation, she was reading it back to me, and the, she, the person said, she said, would you like to come pick it up today? And mm-hmm. she's, the person said, yeah, that's great. But they never agreed on a time. Oh, and that okay. was a problem. So pick a time, that's yeah. one thing is specify a time. If they don't throw a time out, just throw a time out that works for you. Mm-hmm. But make sure a time is agreed on. True. As well as uh, an actual location is agreed on. Mm-hmm. Um, 
make sure I, I've found it very useful to also send them my phone, my cell phone number. Hey, if you need to text or call me, here it is. Because I've I've had some people show that uh, I've That's missed meeting up with because they actually have a cell phone that they only have data when they're on Wi-Fi. Right. Yeah. And yep. then they have no texting. <laughs> yeah, I've had that a couple um, times. Another one. I know when I first started doing this, it, you put you you put a price up that of what you want. Um, and before you know it, there are messages coming at you, at twenty dollars, fifteen dollars, ten dollars cheaper than yep. what you're asking. Sometimes even more than that. Um, and you might get antsy, you get excited and you're like, okay, what do I do? Should I just do it? Just my, my advice is to just be as patient as possible. Let it go a little longer um, before you take anything less. Because before I knew it, uh, I would be like, okay, sure, I'll take it. Then somebody offers $10 later or less. And then the, the next day, somebody's offering $10 more than I even asked for. And it's like, <laughs> crap, I wish I waited, but I'm too honest to, to not to turn this guy down now. So I'm stuck yep. with this guy is paying me less. So just be patient is, is, is I think a, is a big one. Cause now, I think so that has a lot to, to do with up. what you're selling. I true. Think a lot That's of the true stuff too. You're selling are desirable games. And then right. in that case, it's a seller's market. Big time, big time. And, and don't but be afraid to, to, to get what you asked for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I also usually almost hundred percent of the time list it for more than I want. Right. Yeah. That's a good advice too. More, it all depends, but usually $5 more is a general rule of thumb because especially on Kijiji around here, everybody offers less. Everybody. It's the same yeah. here. <laughs> every yeah. rare, every now and then you'll get somebody who's awesome and they'll be like, they, they just want to pay you what you asked and that's great. Yeah. I've had but that. But it's so rare. <laughs> maybe five times. <laughs> yeah, I can think of so like very few times when that happens. <laughs> There are times where people have offered less and I'm like, no, I really can't. And they'll still buy it. But usually right. people offer less. Yeah. Almost always. Almost. Everyone's I even had one guy who showed up out. one time. That? Everyone's trying to Sorry, get a deal. Right. Yeah. 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 And that's the same thing. I am too. Right. I can't blame them yeah. for offering less. Yeah. So I'll just post it for more. <laughs> um, I have a question. Have you ever had somebody say, okay, this is the price. Then they show up. Then they change what they or they won't they don't want to buy the whole thing now they now they only want to buy a piece of it and now they're renegotiating how much a piece of it would be i've had that happen not, a couple of times too i've mean, had it often not often i think maybe once or twice oh i hate that feeling it's like here's the things that you agreed to there's like six things yeah. they're like oh you know you know what i only want these four things now you have to try and figure out what are those four things worth on the I spot have that it's like more often when i'm buying oh really yeah they realize it's either worth more or someone uh, else offered them something yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's tough. It's it's tough. No doubt about it. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I could think of tips for days. Yeah, <laughs> it's mostly yeah. in context. Like you give me a scenario of some uh, email conversation of worth what you did, and I could probably give you tips on what you should have done at what points. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it also helps that I've been doing customer support for fifteen years over email, so that yeah, that would has help. Something to do with you. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. I'm so rocking the same customer customer support chops not yeah. maybe not to the same extent but yeah. <laughs> yeah i did hear you say that you were a manager or something i mean like yeah i manage i manage a team yeah so. i'm a team lead lower but <laughs> similar <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so if anybody has any other questions for future episodes hashtag dd answers on twitter love it we're doing the dd mm-hmm um, and we'll try and answer the next question next episode. Of course, the guests will be different. I try and rotate the guests out every single time. Eventually, we'll try and get some repeat guests because other people get to know each other. But most of these questions are geared for people coming on the first time. And uh, you can also ask questions on the Cartridge Club forums under the Dollar Dorks podcast or in the YouTube comments on the videos that are posted on YouTube on the Two Dorks channel. So on to the next section. Nobody has any other questions. Nope. <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> no hands. Up. Um, so suggested content. Uh, do you, me first, have any suggestion? Wow, myself first, and I didn't even think of one. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm going to go Wait. with, uh, the problem is his name is spelled weird. Goodwill Hunter on YouTube. Where is his name? It's like G... Zero zero, oh my gosh! Someone else go. <laughs> I'll get this. Uh, go ahead. Uh, where are we? There we go. Mark, you go. Any suggestions? Sure. Just for anything in general? Yeah, general. Generally, I try and say something that's 
useful people for people who are collectors. But oh, uh, I'm gonna go uh, check out STC Pod, uh, th their latest pickup video. You'll you'll get to see what it's like to shell out big cash and get big rewards. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, STC Pod always uh, never disappoints. If you are looking for people who can get deals, there's there's your crew. Cool. I'll, I'll say you listen to the podcast. <laughs> uh, so Goodwill Hunter G zero zero D W I L L H U N T three R on YouTube. He is great. He has awesome uh, thrifting videos. He even has some video game pickups lately, and um, I think he's even done some video game reviews. Did he do? No, what do you do? Anyway, he's been doing some stuff a little outside the box lately. Quick picks. Was Goodwill with with zeros for the O's. Yeah, and then a three in Hunter for the. Okay. For the and his okay. logo looks like the Goodwill logo with the, with the blue with happy face, but his mm -hmm. is red with a sad face. <laughs> oh, I've seen that guy. Okay, I see. I know yeah, the yeah, one. He's good. Cool. Is he the one who liquidated his whole collection and started over with five bucks? No, that is Craigslist Game Finds. Oh, okay. They're good too. <laughs> cool. <laughs> How are so they doing? Have, uh, I haven't checked <laughs> yeah, in a few weeks, so actually. Suggestions? Um, I have two, if that's okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> one of them, uh, he also has a podcast. He's actually... Uh, he's He interacts with club people. I don't know that he's actually registered, but uh, his mm. it goes by church. Uh, he's the game grinder. Mm -hmm, um, yes. He uh, does a lot of reviews. Um, they have a podcast uh, that I have been on. I was on last year, uh, right around this time last year. And um, yeah, his content's great. Um, I got to meet him at Midwest Gaming Classic. Uh, he was on the panel there uh, for the Midwest YouTubers. Um, and his, yeah, I would encourage you to go check his stuff out. He does pick up videos once in a while, but his his quality on his reviews is is nice. Um, he has a fondness for Shantae uh, hmm. and Tomb Raider and a couple other series. Hmm. I've seen him on Twitter. I've never seen any of his reviews. I'm definitely going to check that out. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's done. Yeah. He's, he's got some friends who do some ni nice work for him. He, he's got like some custom animations for his cool. intros and things like that. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I would encourage you to check his stuff out. I will. The next time I get something that, that, uh, that he puts out, I'll, Maybe I'll ping you with it, or yeah, you can definitely. find him. Um, the other one I wanted to mention was one that had recently had me on a collaboration video, and that's uh, the old ass retro gamer. Uh, <laughs> nice, been classic as well. Uh, the video that we collabed on was uh, the way he does his videos is he has ten YouTubers um, come on, and each of them talk about uh, a game that matches his theme, and he does a top five interspersed with these ten guests. So hmm. it ends up being a 40 minute video. This one was, uh, mm -hmm. and the theme was uh, video games, bad video games based on movies. Uh, okay. So, uh, cool. Yeah. So I ended up talking about ET for a couple minutes. Uh, Good choice. <laughs> I could have done better. And I look at it now and it's like, yeah, I probably should have talked about the gameplay a little bit more or something, but <laughs> I feel like that game has been, everybody's heard that it game's been yeah. beaten to death. So I actually, mm. yeah, I, I actually took a different spin on it. Too. I love that game. <laughs> um, you love you the know, idea uh, of the game or you love the gameplay? No, I think I have Stockholm Syndrome or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's fair. I forget where I heard it recently. There's a there's a second E.T. game on the 2600. What? Yeah, I didn't know until very recently. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I need to figure this out. I, yeah. I actually would like to find that complete someday. Um, that would be really cool. But yeah. Yes, I have oh, just I have, a, loose I have a complete. I got it in a bundle. <laughs> Do you, are you I wasn't even looking it? for it. What's that? I don't really need to keep it. I was only keeping it because it's so ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> now it has a home. I, I think I even have it in a protective case, too. Wow. <laughs> I had an extra one. Does it smell like landfill? <laughs> no, mine did not come from landfill. Mine oh. was before that. Before the landfill was dug up. Oh, very good. That movie, that movie's good. That movie's worth watching if you haven't. I may have to bring that to Barry for you, Musty. There you I go. Would, I would gladly work something out with you on that. Um, <laughs> Steal Battalion mine. controller, right? <laughs> 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 Even train. Maybe just the pedal. <laughs> yeah, one pedal, not both. Not <laughs> one pedal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, 
And uh, moving on to the next section, Cartridge Club Game of the Month. So we are recording early, so the game is still Perfect Dark. Mm -hmm. Normally we would have been recording later, but due to obligations and vacations and such, it's still Perfect Dark. So with this group, mm -hmm. who's playing? I think we already said before recording, Musty is playing. Mm -hmm. I am. And Mark? I am. I, I actually just beat it on... Uh, I guess you have to because you're on the podcast. I have to every month. You don't have to beat it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I try to. There, there are certain times I don't, but most times I do. But I did beat it this month. Beat it two days ago. It was, um, I'll save it for the podcast. But you know, yeah, yeah. You don't have to ruin it. It is what it is. <laughs> I, I've been meaning to play it. I played it as a kid uh, after Goldeneye, and I enjoyed it. But mm. multiplayer, I only like multiplayer usually. But it was good multiplayer. It was definitely the highlight of the game. I, I really got to play it again. I don't know how I'm gonna. And that's the one. That that's the one aspect that you can play without the expansion pack. Really? Oh, really? Didn't know that. Neither did I. Makes yeah. sense. Uh, I guess. Well, let me hold on. Let me rephrase that. You can play. Simu you can do Sims and yourself. Okay. So, <laughs> so multiplayer, you can't play without the expansion pack, but you could play against the computer. The box, yep. right? Right. Okay. Yep. Cool. The box. Yeah. Totally I remember box. being blown away at bots. Like, that. that was the first game yeah, I had played. Yeah, that's. I was just thinking. I totally forgot the bots, yeah. and they were actually not useless. Yeah. No. And and it was. And you could dial them up. They all had different. They almost had personalities. Yeah, you could set it to do I different. Yeah. I almost got to play that tonight on the Xbox. Hmm. I forgot those bots because otherwise I have to. Get my PlayStation or my uh, Xbox Live subscription going again, and all that garbage because it expired <laughs> on my trial. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. like paying for online. I come from PC world. <laughs> I wonder, yeah, like, were there games that did bots before this? Because it was the first one that I had ever played that had it. I think it was the I'm first sure prominent was. one. I mean, I'm gonna have to look into this for the podcast. <laughs> bots in in a multiplayer, like in an arena shooter. I don't yeah. know. I don't That's know either. Maybe the first mass application or like the first like critical success when it came right. to that. Right. I mean, Google's got to have something. Mm, we're going to be doing some research. Uh, I yeah. always do lots yeah. of research before the podcast. So <clears throat> <laughs> Wikipedia will tell me. That's right. <laughs> Counter Strike, uh, Quake 3 Arena. Had bots? Just, yeah. I don't know what year that is, though. I don't know. Quake either. 3 is pretty late. 1999. What year was yeah, Perfect was Dark? Do we know? 2000. It was okay. May of 2000. So they're there. They were in development. They, were, they would have been in development. Around, uh, True, around the same time. So it's yeah. pretty cool. Neat. They're and it's on the N64. So that's awesome. Yeah. yeah, that's true. That's an impressive part of it. Yeah. yeah, I need to finish that on Rare Replay, and then part of me thinks I should at least pop in the 64 version again so I can at least speak to that. I would like to do the opposite. I would like mm. to see the HD one because, yeah, there are certain... Anyway, <laughs> we'll wait. <laughs> I can imagine <laughs> where that's going. <clears throat> Sorry, that's fair. Uh, so, who's playing the portable game? Donkey Kong? Known as Donkey wait. Kong 94 I haven't started on the Game Boy. I haven't, I haven't started it yet because the, I mentioned this yesterday, the yeah. auction that I had won, mm -hmm. I at the last minute. Uh, no, it was a buy it now. Sorry, the guy like marked it down and I, and I got the alert that it had been marked down. And it, uh, I was like, that's in, that's in my price range that I want. And so I went and bought it right then and there. And then two days later, he messages me to say, you, uh, or hey, I have this shop. I think that somebody somebody stole it. They shoplifted it from, oh, right. from my yes. store. And he's like, I'm going to go ahead and cancel the order. I'm going to go ahead and cancel it. Um, we'll get you a refund. And I was like, okay. And then I get the alert from PayPal that it's going to be three to four days for my refund. What a joke. <laughs> Which is kind of kind of garbage in my opinion. But yeah, yeah it's uh, digital. Why should it take so long? Right, I I, I agree with you. I sent the money just like that, and they they got it just fine. Yeah, that was yeah. easy. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, okay. So I guess this doesn't work in both directions. And maybe it's a um, credit card um, cancellation process. That would make sense if they actually had to cancel the process, cancel the transaction from your credit card with the credit card be. company. Credit that card companies be. are slow. True. Unless that you had the funds true. in your PayPal account already, 
that's that should different. be instant. Yeah. yeah. I, it, it, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I won't go into what my PayPal is connected to. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Just brainstorming. But I did today finding uh, another listing uh, that actually came with both the Game Boy manual and the Super Game Boy manual. Uh, oh. So I ended up nabbing that. Uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, it, it ships. <laughs> he actually has already marked it as shipped. So. Nice, nice. I have a tracking number, so I'm in good shape. Jeez, that's really good then. Yeah. Yeah, he they're he's moving on it, so that's that's a good thing. So yes, I will be playing by the time people hear this, I will be playing Donkey Kong. You know what? I will be too, because this is coming away. Yeah, I was just waiting to beat yeah. Perfect Dark, really, and then I was gonna jump in. So I'm also playing currently. You don't need to worry about June's game of the month, right? About what? Yeah, you right, 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 right. <laughs> Nothing to it. <laughs> Actually, I have beaten it so many times I probably wouldn't need to play it, but yeah. Uh. So I, I did purchase Donkey Kong uh, back in October 2016. Mm-hmm. And I bought it for $16.98 on eBay. I, I had been following it because I heard it was such a good game. I had been looking for a deal on it, and that was the best deal I could find nice. at the time. And I think I had a surplus of money, so I'm like, why not? <laughs> the time is right. <laughs> yeah. So I did play it a little bit uh, at work. I did my two word review already because I generally don't beat any games and I rarely have time to play them. So <laughs> I did my two word review. It's, it's already out there. What was your two word re- review again? Um, no consistency. Oh, really? I mean, no, I can't wait to play this game. I find every <laughs> level has different rules, or mm-hmm. I just don't expect. I don't expect the game to change that much between levels, and, okay. and for the uh, like, I just can't. Even on the like, so level or world zero is where I was struggling. Yeah, <laughs> world zero. Yeah, that's like a world. Should, like, well, it's like basically a tutorial, but it doesn't tell you anything. <laughs> but <laughs> wow, it is a world. Okay, yeah. all right. So it was like I think it was like level four on that, and it was just like uh, you have to find things out by trial and error, and I hate that. I hate that a yeah. lot because it doesn't enough. control like a normal Mario game. It doesn't even control like regular Donkey Kong. It does the, the jumping and everything does, but there's extra things as far as I'm aware, like an umbrella that I still I think that lets you fall without dying. Pretty sure there's I'm weird stuff. In, out. <clears throat> yeah, it, it just seems to keep changing things up, which can be a good thing, but I just find it doesn't explain anything. I don't like that because I don't like wasting time playing games over and over again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> After dying like, like the first three levels, like you die, learning how the elevators work and why. Mm-hmm. The, what will kill you and stuff that uh yeah <clears throat> i'm not going to go into it much, too much because it's probably just me everybody else will disagree but i don't like wasting my time on not necessarily <laughs> <laughs> the only person who ever seems to agree with me is sean and that is usually short lived. oh because, i'm sorry to hear that <laughs> yeah <clears throat> i just re-listened to the shadow of colossus uh podcast today because I, I had heard he didn't enjoy it as much as everyone else and i did not enjoy that game at all what didn't you like? <laughs> Not being able to do anything without Googling. <laughs> All right. oh, the sword, oh, how the sword works, right? Like, that wasn't intuitive or useful. Oh, Derek. Yeah. That game and then so finding weird. out that there's power-ups <laughs> everywhere. What's that, Musty? That game is... I, I really like that game. So good. I, I like, like it a lot. the idea of the game. I really hate everything they do in it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's okay. We won't hold it against you, Derek. <laughs> I will say, I, I will just say that that club episode for that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, there was a moment in that episode that that uh, almost had me in tears. Really? Just saying. That what you cut out? I missed it. Yes. A moment in that episode where where you where I was nearly in tears, and it was a video clip from a movie that he put in there. Oh, I see. Yes. Yeah. I think most people have that effect. Uh, that that like punched me in the stomach in the middle of work. I was just like, oh my god. Sean brings that movie up all the time. Remember. Like, yeah. <laughs> he, he, he and I talk about it too. There's I think there's a comment in the in the Overwatch chat that we have that was something about our tax. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he always brings up our tax. Breath of, I think in the Breath of the Wild spoiler cast, spoiler cast it comes up. La too. la la. <laughs> oh, I saw <laughs> Yeah, I listened to the Shadow of Colossus one instead of that one today. But I will listen to that one. Both I was right. listening to Mega Man X. <laughs> Mega Man Xmas. Going back, going back through the old ones. That's classics. 
All right. Well, it is. Are... Was that was that the birth of Fan, the Fandango? I'm just curious. Xmas. Yeah, because both Richard was... and, and Kevin were on there. They were both on the Shadow Clauses too. They were on um, Silent Hill too. On in um. Kevin was on Silent Hill too, but. Oh right! No, it wasn't Ray- R- Richard. Wasn't. Holy crap! I. Oh, Mr. Vox. Mr. Vox. That's right. Yeah, you're right. It was Kevin Vintage and uh, was it Rambox for Xmas? Mm-hmm. Holy crap! Yeah, I guess that was the first time that they were together. Then I never thought about that. And Vintage, Vintage is kind of like the grandfather. So that's a big episode. <laughs> yeah. I never listened to it. Yeah. That was a good episode. Now's good the one. time. The game doesn't interest. That's me. why I have <laughs> I have Mega Man on. I have it up right now. I'm about to go. Try and beat Storm Eagle. Storm Eagle, nice. Yes. All right. <clears throat> we are nearing the end. So, plugs. We got plugs. We're going to plug Mark, player two plug of the Cartridge up. Bros, one of the founders of the Cartridge Club and, this, and the Cartridge Club podcast. Yeah. Go check him out everywhere. Cartridge Club. Cartridge Especially Club. Uh, YouTube yeah. and Patreon, right? Yeah. And it, if you just go to cartridgeclub.org, you'll find everybody. Yes. Yes. Including Actually, the people sitting here. <laughs> I do have cartridgeclub.org coming up in the plugs. But All right, cool. Right there. It, <laughs> let's just do that now. It's the community that brought us together. Yeah. It is uh, great online. I think I even uh, I had a tagline for it, but I, I don't have it here. <laughs> the greatest community of gamers on the internet, I think, is what I called it. Nice. We don't know if it'll stick, but or I don't There's know. There's lots, lots going around. We'll, we'll find one that sticks. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Need something punchy, something quick. That's right. The point. Join or don't join and just got, uh, watch us. <laughs> just be a creep and watch us I'll, all I'll around. <laughs> yep, go in the forums. You can view the forums without creating an account. That's right. Or create an account if you want to say something. I'm sure you'll read something that makes you want to say something, either yeah. happy or or a rant. <laughs> yep. <laughs> either one's acceptable. It yeah. it's, all, it's all welcomed. <laughs> <laughs> and Musty, Musty Hobbit. Must you have it on Twitter and on YouTube? Yes. Go check him out. Oh, mm-hmm. so good, Musty. Thank you for joining, guys. And I am. Thank Derek. you for having Thanks us. Thanks for letting us be here, Derek. It was a pleasure. No, no problem. You're killing this new uh, no, like, podcast thing. We'll see. <laughs> 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 and I'm Derek of Two Dorks. That's T W O Dorks on YouTube with my brother in law, Tony. Although we haven't released much lately, Tony's not as interested as I am. <laughs> all right on the next episode i can't wait to hear this we will discover how to find the mean the true meaning of christmas oh that sounds amazing <laughs> yeah i'm curious <laughs> listen to the next one come on thanks. tell me now <laughs> <laughs> thanks again guys thanks for having us Derek. thank you cha